We are live now. Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode number seven of Gundam Gunpla and Grunts. We have, uh, you know, the the usual crew here. We got Kai. We got oh, Mecha sorry. Wolf Unit. Hey. We got Medica. Hey, hey. And we got uh, V. Oh, baby, get fluffy with it. Got there. So fluffy. <laughs> there you go. All right. All right. Uh, so first of all, uh, I'm not sure if you guys have seen this. I posted it. Uh, let's see if we could, uh, if I could get that on the stream here. Holy, why is it so big? That's what she said. Uh, we have a, a Dom custom here. <laughs> why, why have you done the that? <laughs> we have, the it's Dom, all of our family. The Dom custom's missing one thing, though. It hurts. What's he missing? The rest of his family. Oh, uh, damn. Yeah, you, you need what am three I looking doms at? together, man. Where's the other two? Oh, my God. That is a good point, though. Doms come in threes. There's no such thing as a singular dom. There That's isn't. True. No, no. There yeah, they, they explode together. But I thought they that was... They uh, together to die together. Yeah, so it was It was done... Uh, who's done by... Justin uh, Manimer. And I talked to him because he he came on uh, like my stream to thank me for posting it, and apparently he's he was planning or planning it for years. He had to uh, basically like three D print the wrench. He bought the cross from eBay, and I can't remember what, like what he did with it. I think he ordered like like a really good like uh, Toretto uh, like figure off of ebay or something like one of those yeah, really expensive because, ones because that looks really well made unless it's just like a picture <laughs> like it's just like a picture wrapped around a head which i don't think it is i think it's an actual mold yeah no no it's it's a it, it it, this is so an actual it's an actual yeah. like uh like doll like it's from an actual doll that's a hell of a good quality what? doll yeah yeah you know what this reminds me of? That one artist that makes, uh, for some reason, they turn all, like, gyms into basically, like, people wearing, like, gym armor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Do they still yeah, keep the visors? Like, like, first few days of Twitter. And, like oh, the, hey, that's actually kind of cool looking. Yeah. Yeah, they recently just did the gym cannon. Oh, nice. No, I thought I'll, I thought I would showcase it. It looks amazing. Uh, I thought it was hilarious, and uh, yeah, it was, well, it's, it's, it's dumb, really dumb. <laughs> but uh, we need we need a couple more. Uh, we need a couple more of these, you know. So I think people were even asking like, where can they get one? And it's like it's a one yeah. of a kind. What about guys? Now we just now someone just needs to make an edit of Dom flying a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really good. It's really good. So I thought I thought I would show that off. Um, I mean, the diesel's hands might actually is, be dangerous on its own. Fun. I like that. Sorry, what was that, Kai? Uh, on, on its own, with Dom, Dom as the pilot, the Dom will be, you know, actually unstoppable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you, you have know, to make one, sure one it on days, diesel. We're, we're going to have to pile up a load of gill and, and buy Kai some stable internet. We're, we're going to have to buy him an upgrade. <laughs> Buy him an upgrade. <laughs> no, nah, uh, you're getting an upgrade, an bro. So I can actually change this uh, <laughs> one port in my one port in my uh, my room into an actual Ethernet connection. Oh god, yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, you still sound you still sound fine, dude. I can just hear the. It's like the it's reverb. like you know when you hear someone phase out of existence. You got the reverb back. going. Yeah, that's yeah, I can see my uh, my uh, quality <laughs> dipping in and out, dipping in and out with the video connected. Stay Man. in reality with his Kai. Stay with his believe. You in sound the like you're about we're to tell family. me you, you can't do that, Dave. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mix. I can't allow you to do that. Oh my god! See, it fits. It fits. Well, I gotta adjust this. <laughs> now I need some actual reverb to actually do like that. Too. I need a bit we for need that. A, I need we... a bit for that. One of these days, Kai's going to come on. He's going to sound like an auto tune. We're all just going to vibe with it. <laughs> I guess vibe someone's just going to start some beats after all of his auto tunes. <laughs> oh hell yeah, Kai's auto tune! Wow. <laughs> Once I finally get my own uh, uh, thing, my whatever it's called, sound oh, yeah. my own soundboard, then I'll be able to actually do that. 
I really do love that, like Dom Dom. It just makes me smile. It brings a smile to your face, man. It doesn't dom, even have to be Dom. dom. dom it's dom. just how well he's done it. So it's like sure the Dom it Dom. Makes him look, sure, it makes him actually look like freaking muscular and hit the Dom's normal chest. The yeah, arms actually good. work surprisingly well. They do. <laughs> they do. It, 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 it just, just works. works. <laughs> just works. Uh, we have uh, some more uh, images of you know our favorite uh, Gundam, and that of course is uh, uh, I don't even know. Do I even like show it? I'm tired of it. What are we looking at? The Deep Striker here? No, the the Gundam Thorn. You know our oh, favorite no. uh, our favorite little kit here. To the yeah. void with it! Oh, scream! It's a. <laughs> it's, it's just like no. It's like it looks mix match. Like someone made a custom mix match and it didn't look, fit well okay. together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, when it's in a pose and it's not standing, it looks fine. No, I still think the backpack. Okay, looks what do you guys crap. hold on? What do you guys think of someone did like a little edit to it? What do you What do you guys think of this? How, does it look any better? What edit? I do like. The oh, backpack. that looks better. Yeah, that looks better. That I do like the backpack. Backpack. Yeah, the way the legs actually look like have the really chicken vibe for once. Like they actually have like that really long like chicken leg look. Yeah, yeah. It actually makes it look like it's supposed to like be able to like hard stop. Yeah. It, with how looks fast like, it's going. It looks like Starscream, but a much more proportional Starscream. The, the arms aren't down below its knees for once, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't prefer using. that version to the original because the original to me looked like someone took the tracks off a sand crawler, stood it upright, and went, yeah, Star Wars mecha. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just does to me. That. It looks so... It looks like a Why did that never get made? I, I, think it's, I think it's because, not only because the color looks weird, it's not even like a sandy brown, but it just looks so mismatched. Like, yeah. originally, it doesn't even... Like, it looks like none of the parts actually are supposed to fit together. Like, someone just, like stapled the parts together and said, yep, this is our new Gundam. Yeah, no, what, what part of this was a Lifrith? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. That. That's a good question. <laughs> the face? I think the head. Not I even the face. The face of the, well, of the pre-production models doesn't, well, isn't even the same. It doesn't have the fucking visor. I don't think it has the chin. It might just be the system, and it might just be the ghost system. Good. Like it, it actually looks like it could reach its legs out and like grab you or something. So yeah, it's no. kind of like the range Somehow the arm away. Took much too long with that kit bash. It this this work. look, it it looks like one of them is too tall now and one of them is too short. <laughs> it I'm does, getting Galador it. flashbacks and I do not like it. <laughs> like there's this oh, one baby. digi evil Digimon which just has massive a massive lower body. This is what it makes me think of. It looks, yeah, I don't know, maybe, I, I think it, it would look better if the legs were painted the same color as the top uh, for the uh, the first the first Gundam. It makes it, it look actually like may look okay. Walking. But the second, like one, the, the second one is like, I don't know, you know, like those memes where it's like, uh, what would you do if I broke into your house? And it's like a little small person. And then like, you know, the, the memes where they, they just, you know, kick a doll at the window or whatever. I feel like this <laughs> thing is just like not supposed to be a Gundam. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's, it's just it's not, not a threat. There's yeah, no it is not Gundam from that at all. Yeah, it's not a threat. Of sets in a, a, that's not a Gundam. That's uh, not. It's like instead of someone going, "It's a Gundam," he's like, "That's not a Gundam." <laughs> that's no, not. You know, well, you know when that's says, not a Gundam. Whip well, whips out an arrow. This is a Gundam. This is a Gundam. Yeah, I just. I mean, we uh, all we all know the line where he goes. You know, bailiff smashes balls. The one on the right is literally what happens when you get your balls. Smashed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what happens to you, man. Yeah, yeah. I just, uh, I just don't, I don't think the like the Gundam uh, Thorn's gonna sell well. I don't know. It just it looks. I really don't think it is just for the color choice. The palette I, is disgusting. Like the Oreo shoulders and its head, and that's kind of it. I'm like throwing it, a rock at it. I, I feel like if they like <laughs> mix the parts around a bit more in these two, they could actually work together. But right now, the Oreo just looks more better than the freaking thorn. Yeah, I don't want up you and drop a colony. Oh, like no. the arrow, oh, no. I would hug, but well, but I also fully believe could massacre a colony. No, 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 we're just going to slap this thing. 
There, yeah. There's no even like it's not worth throwing uh, something uh, at. It's just worth slapping and. I don't want to touch it. Them. Then Wait, use and slap it with a glove it. on. <laughs> and slap it with a glove on. Then oh you don't got to touch it. I would oh like to uh, call it that, but my thing. But, but then I'll be touching the glove. You can burn the glove later. So, guys, there if you go. had to rate, like, we've seen enough pictures of both of these things uh, to last a lifetime, but uh, if you were to give the uh, the uh, thorn a rating out of five, what what would what would you guys give it? We'll start with uh, Kai here. One. A one. Wow. Ooh. For the chick legs and the color, I don't. It's just again, Starscream is movie. Starscream is all I can see, and I, not even a particular like, one. Yeah. I'd throw in a movie star trek quote, but I remember nothing of his, well, of his dialogue. Medic, what are you giving in this kit? It was mostly brown nosing. One, but not just because of the design, but because its gun system is so boring. You don't like that? You don't like that cannon it's got? That weird sail that opens up and doesn't really do anything. Oh, the one in the back there. Yeah, yeah. Supposedly that's a cannon, as I recently watched... Uh... Uh, you know, it, it, uh, oh. review on the uh, on the or and apparently the instructions call that a, a cannon but that's not how it works in the show so are, is it's there a flat cannon scene? maybe it's supposed to be a rail gun i don't fucking we haven't seen it do anything yet this yeah, is Chekhov's see... gun that never got fired hopefully in the next hopefully in the next season we see them do something more than just open yeah. up and act as the and as the as the ntd system yeah medic what are you giving it a one. I thought uh, I already gave it a one. Oh, did you? All right. Wolf unit, tell me. Uh, I'll give it a three, just because I've seen slightly worse, but still, yeah, it does not look well. Whoever made this needs to be fired. Uh, it's just, it's like, it's, it's, like how, it's like how I describe the freaking turn A Gundam. It's different for the sake of being different in all yeah. the worst ways. Yeah. Okay, but the turn A, I've kind of grown to love. I hate the turn A. Just like the mustache I've... is stupid, but the rest of it, yes, it works. I do mm, like. The I hate the rounded. I hate how rounded it is. I do like the Katoki redesign. It's not oh, just because yeah. I have a weakness for Katoki. No, uh, look, it's just a better design. The turn A in my V. Opinion. V. Tell us, tell us what your. Oh uh... man, you, you, I don't think you want to hear my opinion on this because <laughs> he loves well, it. Only... He loves I, it. I, I could. I could start listing how many things are wrong with it, but I'm going to go straight to the top of the list and point out this kit feels like it was rushed out the door and no one gave a shit about designing it. Like this, as this is like what happens when P Bandai grabs something and goes, well, recolor it and sell it you for twice the cost. This kit has been designed by someone in Bandai that doesn't care, was told to make something a bit different. And based solely on that, regardless of the colors and everything else we've mentioned, this kit shouldn't even exist. I'm giving this a flat zero. Damn. Well, I will. Damn. I will Damn. I just, v made me realize something. I will actually bunk mine down to a two because it's, <laughs> it looks like it's just supposed to be like easily like put togetherable and easily so that it can easily be made into gunpla. Yeah, the, yeah. I, I don't even want to yeah. see the molding of this because it looks like recycled trash. I'm right. sorry, oh but my it, God. it looks terrible. Like G we have Gundam, a, it's called EcoPlay. G Gundam's Gundams have a bunch more thought put on to this thing. <laughs> G Gundams looks... was, what's the most ridiculous national stereotype we can make? And then they made it work. Yeah. I want, well, what is it? Which one's the wind, windmill Gundam? Just to say, this still looks better than the a uh, the the Netherland Four. Gundam. I feel like, I feel like this is, this is like Gundam. a fail, a fail um, core Gundam, you know? I oh my call god, it, it is. Oh, oh, yeah. Call it oh yeah. yeah. The longer, you know, it's a core Gundam that got stuck in the taffy stretcher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like this was like the first prototype design for the core Gundam, and they're like, this looks silly. We're not gonna do it. And then Somewhere down the line, here it is. You know what I mean? That's just kind of what it looks like. This is the so core gunman if you leave the arm extensions this on. This came off the reduction line. Yeah. I can promise this you kit that. looks <laughs> great, said nobody. I, I listen, know, even yeah, I even in like gunpla battlers, there's some more interesting designs there than this thing. 
And some of them are literally just a little bit of changes to like the wing Gundam or the strike Gundam. You know, I've got a perfectly good reference to what this is, right? This is when you went back in high school. This is the 14 year old edgelord goth kid that thinks he looks <laughs> like the shit, but he actually looks like he just walked out a hot topic and needs a slap. <laughs> Boom. You know, I think that goes for the pilots too. Exactly. Uh, wait, wait, wait. wait you think they're just need Trinity again. Don't talk to, about Amaro and Camille like that, okay? <laughs> All right. No, they, they can afford better than Hot Topic. Let's Anyways. give them that credit. We're gonna go on. Almost to, uh, not allowed to go to hard hot topic. He's under house arrest. So uh, sure. we have, of course, uh, you know, some P Bandai kits. This is the uh, RGM seventy nine GM, the Moroccan front version. Uh, I like the orange. I like. I I really do like the orange on this kit. It looks nice. Yeah. It's a creamsicle. I I, I love it. Is, it. it is. I mean, here's the thing. I love the designs. Some of the designs coming out of origin gundam if only they use the gyms actually properly in the show like if only if, if only. only i'm just always up for back mounted cannons like you, you got a back might as well mount a cannon there i love it i love oh. i love anything that why not why, why one where's the second one you know i can i say a little story about uh, gundam battle operations there is yes. actually the gun the gun the gym cannon space type which just has it has the cannon on the back it has the beam spray gun on the back it has another cannon that holds in its hand it also has let's see vulcan guns and it is actually pretty fast and a shield <laughs> just you Damn. can just repeatedly stun lock someone with that thing and <laughs> everyone hates them and like oh we see that thing we're going to kill it as soon as possible yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. this is why i play gigan nobody hates the gigan nobody hates the gigan. I, i'm not like a massive gym collector currently I love, I respect the grunt unit though for what it is. And I do love the orange. My problem that I have with it is why is it P Bandai? And yeah, I will say this on a lot of kit. There is no, there's nothing special about that to make it P Bandai. There's no special parts, no special joints. It's got a bit of orange coloring, but that this is where I have the problem. It's like I, I would have that kit, but. My wallet goes, why not just get a regular GM and paint it myself? That's my problem with it. A lovely I, kit, but bad I, price tag. I will say, I, love I have some bad news for you. Go on, then. It's P Bandai because they've realized they make more money putting most of the HDUC kits in P Bandai now. Yes, that's true. Yeah, they, yeah. they know people love things like the gym and gym variants, so they started putting them in P Bandai. Well, this, this we is got two kits total in HDUC last year. 21 yep. in P Bandai. Yep. But but this is what else will throw there. They'll get to a point where they'll push it so hard that people will turn around and be like, hold on a minute. You're charging me how much for this kit? Why am I not getting the Master Grade? And that, I've not got a problem with that. I I promote Master Grade builders for the sheer size of the kits you get. But it's going to leave these things on the shelf because no one's going to want them. <laughs> They're going to look at the price tag and go, I, I want the Master Grade. But... You know, obviously, there's always those wallet warriors who don't care. They just they want what the kit is, and I do like mm -hmm. the kit, but I just don't get why it's P Bandai because of that. I obviously, really they explained it to me, but my point is, P Bandai needs to put the brakes on a bit. They're doing this too much. They really yeah. do. They they love their they money are. though. They love their money. I love, I love they, they earn more than enough money. Is my beef with them? Like, don't don't rinse your fans that keep your doors and lights on. Yeah. Talking about uh, P Bandai, we have another P Bandai kit, and it's the high mobility uh, Zaku, and it's the oh, ground wow. use, the Egba version, which I love how it looks. Though I wish this I was not P Bandai. Looks. Yeah, I love how it looks. Um, and I think it's a little bit more deserving of BP Banda because of how specialized this thing looks. I I will say, I, yeah. If you guys but can't I tell, it. I I hate the mix of camos. There's several different camo designs in here, and I don't like it. Yeah, also, would camouflage them. actually work that well on a Zaku? Um, in the desert? desert, probably. I mean, in, but here's the thing: it's uh, got green on now. it. Green sticks out in the desert a lot. Is this supposed to be like it? No, it's not an urban. It'd be gray. I find it kind of funny that its rifle has a bayonet. Yeah, who's it like, going to stab? Because like, in case the, the heat sword, 
That's where the P Bandai money's going to. The knee bend. Uh, actually, I have, Zaku, I have high grade Zaku Origin, and the the, the knee bends will be that way. I I will find it funny that this is making me remember how like I forget whoever made. I think it was Zionic that made the Zaku. Yeah. Um. Basically. They were trying so hard to, like, how can we fit a generator big enough to make a beam weapon in the Zaku? They just kept making the chest larger. <laughs> and it still didn't <laughs> oh get enough God. to, like, break through a gym shield. And then, meanwhile, there's the Gundam, with, and it's still looking slim as well. I'm like, uh, how to do the camouflage? Like, is it stickers? Is it sucks to suck, paint it yourself? Dear God, I, I hope not. I, I, think it, I think this is what it comes out like. I don't think there's yeah. stickers. I'm, I'm gonna gonna paint this. Okay, so they're the using dual the injection. Yeah. I think that's why I, I can agree that it's, ah, it's that. P Bandai. That does make it a bit hit or miss, it. though. Into it. I'd need to get my hands on the kit and throw this together myself, but I can see the elements that make it P Bandai from the body, the armor, the chassis looks solid. The only, my only beef is I do have to agree with Matt Wolf that it's got a bit of a weird coloring to it, but overall, you know, if if I could just spray that coal black or even just that's true black and white, I I would be happy with that. That looks like a good kit. It, like, it's just it, it looks like a nice. It looks like a, like a really good Zaku though. Like I, it looks no, I'm really bad. nice. This, is a, this looks like a good base for the mobility Zaku custom I'm working on. I will yeah, say what I nice always say. Body details. I like that. Specifically, the only, legs. I really want legs. The only good Zaku is a dead Zaku, but you know. Wow. You know what? Ouch. Band. <laughs> well, mine is connected to fan fiction I'm writing about the Brotherhood of Steel in, in Mobile Suit Gundam. So thank you very much. Um, so now we have a picture from the uh the community from from the Discord. Uh oh, and no. we have a bunch of grandpas. Oh, this one makes you smile. We have oh, the boy. grandpa lot here. Thank oh, you. boy. And this is uh, Kai's, of course. Yep. That's well, me. damn. That is a um, lot of grandpa Gundams. Yep. This Holy is for, shit. Uh, a review that I've been having on the back burner for a while. See, see, this is what would actually happen in Ready Player One. You would just see <laughs> like five or six of these things come out and kick the fucking Mecha Godzilla's ass. Yeah, yeah. it's a squad of guns. You say that, ass. But, but then I think a new would come out and just vape all of them with a single funnel each. Probably. <laughs> and they're all Master Grades too, right? Yeah, they're all Master Grades. Yeah. This is all uh, part of a, a five part, not five part, a five way review of the Master Great Gundam that I've been having on the back burner for a while. And I'm testing out a new light box that's bigger and I have some new studio lights to test out as well. Oh, nice. I, like, I, don't I know. actually I have one of these grandpa fit. kits. They have fun. They're simple, yeah. but they're nice. Yeah, it, I've got the 1.5, the Verka, the 2.0, the 3.0, and the Origin. The yeah. Origin is by far my favorite because of how solid I need, I need and to flexible get it is. More of them. They look but good. My issue is I haven't... I really want to get more. I want to get the origin one, but my brain is also sat there going, I do eventually want to get the PG unleashed at some point because it's got all the vents. <laughs> you but can I definitely, I definitely respect these. The thing I actually like about this picture is like you can actually see the the subtle differences in all of them. Like the uh -huh. blues, some have a bit more vents, some have like more detailing. Like even the guns look a bit different. It's uh, you can see it's how nice. it's changed over years, like how yeah. they've adapted it and improved on it. But what yeah. like is that uh, with the Origin Gundam? For the longest time, I had it with like the early version of the beam rifle from the Origin. So it's got that big boxy e cap. Yeah, yeah. which I actually really like because it looks a little bit more realistic as far as like what a giant mecha would use. Yeah, and then. It fell down one day, and the Gundam was fine, but the the barrel got lost, and I just found it, and I was like, "God damn it! God damn it!" <laughs> the uh, no, the feel. next, uh, you know, this one wasn't posted in the the Discord, but uh, it kind of was, but it kind of wasn't. But I had to get the the bigger pictures on Twitter, and again, it's another member of the from our community. It is V's uh, Dynamis. Oh God! What are you bringing so that for? I, I only finished it yesterday. Yeah. Jesus, calm yeah. down. And I will. Uh... <laughs> I will say this is ironic because uh, during my rewatch, 
with my friends of uh Gundam 00, we just got to the part where the fucking Dynamis gets wrecked by a bunch oh. of missiles. Like, he just gets <laughs> fucking... Uh, like, endless amounts of missiles. No, it turns that, out, that being that good a so, sniper... So delightful to build. Like, I didn't even... I did build the sniper rifle, but I went full akimbo with the beam pistols, because it just looks awesome. He does. Well, I, I love the akimbo the pistols. Giant pist- but it's the, also got the LEDs and everything in yeah. the board. Like you need, if you get this kit, spend a few extra dollars, get yourself the LEDs, because really makes that GN drive pop. I just paid yeah. something it, and it pops anyway. The thing <laughs> I like about it the most is um, is the ass thrusters. I think that's a, a really good design, in my opinion. That that made me laugh a lot because I have nicknamed the butt boosters. They are <laughs> the butt boosters, butt boosters. Yeah. I mean, that's what they are. Uh, GN drive. The the bad side about them is that they throw the weight off so bad that until you put the shield portions on the shoulders, it always yeah. falls back on its ass. Yeah, I but can see. if Ooh, you really? put it against the wall, it's okay. You can pose it. It's just those those butt boosters. They really do throw the balance off without those shield sections on the shoulders. Yeah. Is is the mm-hmm. shields on the sides like accurate? I feel like they should be bigger. They're, they're accurate and they're actually yeah. foldable, so you can okay. full on fold them in. You can adjust them. You can literally turn it into a sand rock armadillo style body shield if you want yeah. to. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they are quite yeah. accurate. Okay. That do be how they work. Nice kit. Nice kit. I can uh, definitely recommend it, you know, for the cost and everything. It's a five out of five kit. Get yourself one. You'll enjoy it, I promise. One of my grail kits. Yeah. Now, some of us have uh, started playing uh, Gundam Evolution again. You're dead. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and look, look, uh, the game has a lot of gripes, like a lot. But uh, with friends, uh, I'm enjoying it quite a bit, actually. I never thought I would say it. I've been uh, pretty much like bad mouthing the game for like ever. And just because it has like, but it has like legit issues. Like the maps don't always rotate. Like sometimes you get four or five of the same in a row. They need more maps. They need more suits. The, the currency yeah, the getting is the, getting the currency to unlock suits is, is God awful. Yeah. Like, is the gym sniper two still broken. Uh, <laughs> it's still really like with the if person, good, it's still good. If you, you have a good sniper, then control. yes. Yeah. Yeah. If someone like has really good uh, reflexes to to tap that mouse, but I got boomer reflexes, so it's not for me, you know. Yeah, no, I, I stopped playing because I couldn't take two steps in any match without getting domed. And well, eventually, the after the headshot damage is still a factor, unfortunately. I think and it's that's... like I, I can't do anything. But Why am I playing this? I. I have actually started playing again. I've had a lot of fun with the heavy arm and the unicorn gun. That's the only oh. thing I'm shilling out to this game for, so I can actually play my favorite Gundams. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's definitely a game. Other than the idea, need, but I'm not going to bother. You I will need to say, play this game with friends. So, sorry, Mac Wolf. Just pointing no, out, you uh, need to. Yeah. You need to play this game with friends, <laughs> otherwise you will hit a wall very quickly, and you'll just get upset at the game. It'll ruin your mood. You play with friends, you can shrug off the annoyances. You can shrug off, you know, if you have a bad game. But I definitely say this game, you need to play it with friends, man. Yeah, you play played, this solo, you can have a bad time. I, I played two matches and I kept getting barber toast. Exactly. Yeah, that's you know, a thing. That's, yeah, no, that, that's, that's actually that's my thing. experience. Yes, I was playing sometimes... the game that had no friends, utterly fucking miserable. <laughs> I, yeah. I will say, sometimes I am the barber toast. <laughs> yeah, Barbatos uh, can get frustrating. Um, the yeah, GM sniper can get frustrating. Hating Barbatos for this. I, I will say it's funny. He got domed because I usually shoot the doms because they're just so wide. Yeah, but they're not. It's really hard to miss on hitting them. Yeah, the only he victory I ever have, had. Was he has a ball. latency issue as well, so he doesn't balance out pings. So you get a lot of stun lock issues where you fire a stun, they fire a stun, theirs hits, yours doesn't. It's it it needs tweaking, and I hope it does get tweaked because it's got 
it's a very good potential game. Like yeah. it's got it's got the right pieces there. It just needs it's, putting together like a Rubik's cube. That's that's what I it just, needs. I just feel like it needs more well <laughs> units and it needs to be overall better. It needs yeah. more more. That's what it needs. Yeah, it, it needs, needs more, more basically. More. It yeah. needs <laughs> it also yeah. needs like a lot more colorization. Like, you know, I, I feel like the one thing that it would really get people maybe not like entirely back into it, but as if you can customize the colors on your own, like I want the shoulders yeah. to be this color. I want the chest to be this color, like have a little fun with it. If you gave us that option, I think a lot of people would hell just, just play the game in order to, to, to mess around with the colors, you know, like, I mean, there is a game for that. Mass builder. That's one, that's a, that's one good thing about Gundam battle operations too. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, like I colored my Gigan like Gigan. My Sazabi's well, a nice forest green. My new has a red chest plate. Yeah. It, my Zamal is gun cannon colors. It's great. So you know, it's every, funny. Every Sazabi I get gets colored shell colors, and almost every Federation suit I put it in the type Gundam color. I I will say there was one funny time I was playing that game. I looked at an enemy team in space, and they were all colored black. I'm like, you're not even a squad. I can already tell you're not a clan. So what do you think you're doing? I can see your health bars. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not camouflaged. So oh, so uh yes we are. So uh <laughs> Wolf, what like when when I basically kind of like coerced you to get back into this game a little bit, what did how how did you feel like playing with friends and like uh, coming back to it? Like did you like enjoy yourself? I had, I had quite a bit of fun. Yeah. I won't say it was all fun. I mean, sometimes you face against a clan and you yeah. get completely wrecked and like yeah. I want to say 30 seconds, but <laughs> other than that, it was pretty fun yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Uh, you uh, Kai, you said that you you got recently started playing it again. Uh, what, what were your thoughts on it? Um, uh, Are we talking about Evo or Bo 2 Evo. Evo. Yeah, yeah. I had a lot of fun. I, I go to suits are heavy and unicorn now. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Because, uh, the, the base that come with the game, I just couldn't get a handle on. Yeah. Um, and yeah, unicorn and heavy arms were the only ones I really wanted to play anyway. So, yeah. Uh, v, uh, v. We, we've been playing uh, it quite a bit, actually. Yeah, we do play it like daily. Almost. And <laughs> yeah. I, I, I played it when it first came out and I grinded it for like a couple of months before I finished. And the game, the game is fun, fun with friends for sure. But it's one of those games where I came back, I played with Aya, played with some of the guys here, and it just makes me sit back and go, you've had this game out for a year, and I'm seeing the same problems that I've experienced when you launched. And that that's not a good sign for a game, that mm. they need to sit down, fix the problems, and stop selling us stuff that they think is going to save the game. What will save the game is if they fix the bugs, add the maps, yeah, give us a few suits, sure. I'll give them money for suits. I paid outright for every suit I've got, bar yeah. for the Hyperion. But I just... I, I I'm not finding a lot of bugs, bugs, though. I'm not finding a lot. Like, like in, it, it's during not, gameplay. It's not a lot. It's not a lot of bugs, but that it's noticeable things that have been there since the game came <laughs> out. Yeah. And the fact that they've not fixed them or smoothed things out uh i do like the game with friends like playing with you i playing with people here i mm -hmm. like it yeah but it's it's gonna dry up like this game is gonna hit the he's gonna come off the rails and we're gonna lose interest in it we're just gonna play battle operations i'm gonna throw that out there we're gonna switch to another gundam game eventually because right, like, yeah, right now? Well, that's a good segue group, into the next topic which is uh yeah, bring battle it on. operations too mm -hmm. Another yeah. stream update, huh? So basically, they're saying uh, thank you for your patience regarding the Steam version of uh, Gun and Battle Operations 2. We are still preparing for the launch and we'll have news soon regarding the next steps. Thanks for your support and patience as we work to provide the best possible experience possible. possible. We don't know when it's going to come out. Uh, we've seen a lot of like, it's coming soon and it's been like a year, you know? I, so I will give these guys some slack because they may they give out a new unit every single week. Yeah. 
Because oh. that's how they keep this game constantly going, and they always are usually adding new stuff. Yeah, for yeah free. it's always quality. <laughs> Speaking of free off. stuff and new, well, and unit giveaways, uh, it's currently going through its five million download campaign, and uh, mm-hmm. players who log in for the next, I think, twelve or so days, thirteen or so days, uh, you get a free poll every day. Oh, yeah. oh really? And, well, and, and uh, like- also, the Phoenix is going to be the well, the upcoming banner. Like the four, like what four new free suits? Right yeah. now, they seem to be going through Thunderbolt with the new suit releases. Which I, I mean, it's the narrative promotion. Like the last one was what was Zoltan Sinaju Stein. The one before that, yeah. the narrative B packs. Mm-hmm. Thunderbolt I, was like I have a month the ago, Phoenix, actually. But, but that yeah, they did team like, like uh, the Aqua Gym the size. They do have the Aqua Gym from Thunderbolt in there. As yeah, uh, they, one of the banners, they, so. they added the recent gun cannon aqua. They added the gym, the gym from Thunderbolt. They added, yeah, that's why I think they're going to add more Thunderbolt stuff. So. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having it unless it'd be interesting to have another flight suit. I want the income to come back. I missed it. I missed that out. Goof. <laughs> but uh, I, yeah, so you guys are going to be playing this when it comes out on PC for sure. Well, I know medic, try. medic. You've been yeah, playing yeah. um uh with a code fairy. Yes, and I just like to say there is potential for making further single player campaigns based on this. Don't let code fairy be what kills it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, do you yeah, do you not like, like it? I don't like the concept, and the last missions are brutally unfair because it's it's stuff like you are one unit against well, it's an onslaught of like 10 or so gym. Yeah. And that is not how GBO2 was built. No, it was not built for like, Wait, unless you're do- the cha- the part of chapter one. Unless you're doing like, let's say you have a like 700 unit versus like 250s. Like you are not supposed to go up against that many at once. Yeah, there's yeah, like no. there's like no health packs or anything, right? It's just like no. the damage yeah, you no, take like, is the damage you You take. only regain damage either well, either when you use a pilot skill, which takes a solid two minutes to charge, since you don't have your dedicated healer with you, and well, in the final mission, or you, uh, well, or you sit on a captured beacon and wait for that to heal you. But if you're being shot at, it doesn't work. Yeah, Forgot yeah, this that, uh, that kind of sounds worse than the final mission from Gundam Crossfire. Dear God. Yeah, no, and the worst part is it's had good missions before that, like snipe. Well, like sniping gyms from on top of a crane, just oh, retrieving the hill dolfer. There's clearly a lot of love for the franchise in the writing. It's just I I also really I am really turned off by the idea of a squad of um well or my, on waifus. Uh yeah, my little war criminal can't be this cute, as it is called by. <laughs> I'm They're stealing that for my next I I am stealing that for my next stream title. Yeah, Do that's it. it's that's what everyone around me calls it. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, basically it. Because like by the end of it, your character may oh, may be is still tree as the protagonist, but you ca- if you stop to think about it, you are sitting on at least fifty Federation corpses. Yep. Hey, can I just say that? Yeah, the, uh, let's the kill pilot- all the human. Let's kill all the innocent people in that village <laughs> over there. Yeah. Yeah, the Gundam pilot on on the Federation side actually has a really good motivation for hating Xeon, and I feel sorry for her. Yeah, no, the thing about it, they they decide, oh yeah, no, she's actually reasonable. We should give her a redemption arc. They do this by in it, well by introducing what I refer to as the War Crime Squad. Oh dear God! Damn Just it. to make her the look war better time by comparison, squad? the War Crime Squad. Oh, okay. Executing prisoners. They're the Titans, but with well, without any of the forethought. Oh, so this is basically the part like in Igloo, where they basically like add some crazy Federation pilots that for some reason have are unhinged more than even Xeon pilots, just to like balance things out. Damn. Exactly that. Yeah. Like, like, I do not have a high opinion of Code Fairy's writing, but that is a discussion for another day. Yep. It, we are discussing it, vanilla GBO2, and dear God, I love vanilla GBO2. I, I always go back to vanilla, always. 
I feel like, like feel uh, the when the PC version comes out, the people who have never played it are just going to get absolutely destroyed by... Oh, by I, I have so much fun destroying <laughs> noobs. You do not realize. That's why I want to do, like, a special stream where I basically basically have, like, different uh, people. Like, one person have a veteran with, like, four newbies, and another person have a veteran with four newbies, like, trying to lead them. <laughs> Oh, I'd be willing to help with that. I'm a mediocre player at best who well who's gonna miss half my shots, but I'm decent I, at the game. I will be honest, I used to know life this game when I was trapped inside my house. So yeah. Damn. I, I just I'm, like the fact they've got the uh the RX 785 in the game. That's all I me, care let about. Let me put this way <laughs> this way. You cannot beat me in the uh gun cannon heavy D. Because I literally keep saying I am a wrecking machine. I will literally kick any raid that comes near me, and you will die. <laughs> okay, but what if I'm across the map, sitting in the Zamo? I'm oh, a oh, the the Zamo. Then the I just Zamo. use both of my can. That's oh, just God. really simple. I use both my cannon on my back and on my arm to keep stunning you. Ah, but you see, the Zamo doesn't get stunned. Oh, oh. God, this is this is turning into a Magic the Gathering sort of oh situation. Oh my God! Stop. You've activated my Stop. trap card. I don't get yeah. stunned. Yu -Gi -Oh, That's Yu-Gi-Oh! You you uncultured oh. swine! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Anyways, anyways, moving on. Um, so volume two of Gundam Wing: Glory of the Losers. Okay, so. It opened with well, with short tech specs of the Gundams, and I never realized how fucking short they were. These yes. are yeah, pretty short. short. Yeah. Like yeah, they're they're like, like, three meters shorter than the normal Gundam. They're like 15 meters tall. I, I will yeah. say, the, this version of the Death Scythe, its legs are, its feet are so fucking pointy. I'm like, you could just kill a Leo by stabbing him with that. What's going on here? The legs are massive, too. Like, yeah. they're really I big. booties. <laughs> Kitoki's whole thing when he was redesigning, he was told to basically just make them look like slender. And the first thing he thought of was like um, um, models. Was like, okay, let's go with that. Yeah. Pointy, yeah. pointy. I actually like, like these designs a lot, though. Like, yeah. Yeah, the designs are bad. I don't like the shin long, the way the arms work now, but. Yeah, like, no, the shin long looks the fucking shin -long is the only one that hasn't changed. Really. I will. And the Sandrox now, the Sandrox things are now massive. I forget yes. what is. What like they would are. like that in Endless Waltz, but it it, it looks it, worse here for some reason. I think it's because he had the cloak to like balance out the look a bit. Allegedly, this one still has a cloak. It does. It does. Yeah. It cannot, it cannot I will say, or it has the armadillo unit. I'm not sure. I like can't decide if I like the slim down wings of the wing now. You don't I, know I kind of do. color. Like I kind of like them, like the colors and the way they move apart. But I yeah. also don't like them because the way it looks in sustained flight looks wrong to me. Because usually you would see like the four wings, like two of them come into each other and yeah, you know, make back thrusters. But is is it just me or does the Death Scythe look like like a feminine Gundam? Like it look as like I don't know, I mean, like, like the like, characteristics look like. I, I can see it. But, I can, yeah. I can kind of see a bit of noble Gundam in there, maybe just a little. Yeah, <laughs> a little, but not like too much. I can't see shit over those elf shoes. <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing is, I don't, those and it's knees. Right? You could stab the Leo with the knees. Yeah, yeah. It looks. All right, I now know. I'm really wanting several of these winks just so I can kit back them into. I don't know, like my ideal wing design. Yeah. It looks. Uh, I don't. I, I like these. I like. I like how they look. They look. Uh, they look nice. In my oh, opinion, honestly, I like the antenna the of the, the heavy arms as well. Yeah. The, I love them the, so much. I've literally got them all by the Shenlong. That's how much I love them. Yeah. No. The Death Side feet. They're they're so fucking pointy. They give me brave vibes. Oh God. Yeah. Like when I saw how big the things on the Sand Rock were, I'm like, he's not gonna do the freaking grab him and hold him there for a little bit thing. No, he can't do it with these things being that fucking. Which big. is weird because the wiki claims it still has that. Like, what? No, I can see. It. And if you want, like the little tip that that you might be missing on the Sand Rock, it's the fact that those uh, blades. Oh yeah, the armadillo move. They can break off 
near the tip of it to shorten them and when they're worn down so uh, it can break yeah. off and then it's got another sharp tipping on it so it can still yeah. do the I'm, things it did before um, I'm a level slow, I kind of yeah, hate that because Although, this is a machine meant to win a war against the world swords yeah. like that don't work it's. I think the Sam Sam got the short end of the stick for like it inherited from the Wing Zero. It's literally just a commander unit. It's. Yep. It's a Gundam. Don't get me wrong, but it's yeah. just a command unit. I, I will I say I. I appreciate the vertical mobility it has now. The armadillo mode kind of looks silly to me. <laughs> it, it is a little weird looking. I want uh, just to uh, throw some more. Last panel, uh, and and the and we'll get to at the end. I have problems with it, but we'll get to that. The uh, so basically, like volume two, like kind of starts off where uh, volume one ended, where uh, Katra like saves Troa, and uh, mm. we see like he actually has like we not like it it we see like, the armadillo kind of unit. It's uh it has, and it's like shielded, and it also has massive ass thrusters that can just like kind of fly it in the air, which we've never seen in the anime. Which I kind of like the fact that it has that kind of bit of mobility because i feel like what are you gonna do against the Ares? you know but uh, i i will say in the anime without the armadillo unit it still flew up there and cut an Ares in half did it really mm -hmm. yeah it flew yeah, up with the clutch cluster oh the shit episodes. oh oh you did okay okay yeah, uh, i did the so same I did. damn you uh, guys I, I and, uh, uh, yeah um that thing still has I'm right. of sustained flight despite not being a flight unit yeah, it's. I mean, it looks cool. I don't think it ever does that again, either. Nope. No. They've all generally got the same kind of uh, thrusty units, Barb Zero, who's you know obviously got the extra juice, but they've all got the ability to do these massive jumps and hover and actually do some short range flight. So they've all got that ability. And this is a good thing with Kit. He was a. Like so Sorry, Kai, 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 you're gonna have Kai to repeat that. Kai, we lost you. You're cutting uh, in and out. Come back, Kai. Stay you. in this realm. Oh well. It, it boiled down to Katoki actually managing to make these things work. Yeah. I was, I was yeah. the armadillo just coming off, and I'm like, okay, so it's gone forever now, just like we had with the heavy arms. That part <laughs> is gone forever. Yeah. Yep. So, like in, the, in this panel, we see like um, like Troa uh, attacks the. The sand rock, uh, and we see like at this this panel here is like Katra doesn't have the Katra doesn't have the armadillo armor on him. He like just like basically just pops it off, and he's fighting also the, uh, noting, the heavy arms. Uh, they extended this fight a good deal in the manga. They oh, did yeah. like a lot, yeah, like oh, like a lot. Yeah, no, like in the anime, it was just like a Katra gets briefly distracted. It manages to catch the knife in his armpit, and then it just goes straight to the well, to them locking fists. Yeah, yeah, and, and Troa kicking him in the. Yeah, I watched the. Yeah, I watched the episode after after uh, reading the reading the but, chapters. But and the this good is like, thing is that uh, oh. in the episode you actually get to see the hydraulics of a Gundam actually fail, and actually see physical damage from things. I love little added bits like that where you actually get to see mechanical damage just from hand-to-hand -hand combat. So I, I give it a big thumbs up for that. It was only a few sparks and smoke on the anime, but, you know, seeing actual damage is great to me. Yeah, that's yeah, one no, of the things also, I like about... Oh, worth oh, noting the anime... You say your thing. Oh, I was going to say, that's why I like about Double O a bit, is that they still get a bit damage. Even if it's not much, they still show damage. Yeah. Yeah, I think the issue with Wing is that most, well, that a good chunk of the pilots don't have the re means to effectively repair their machines if they take damage. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. We we as uh, we're about to so, see. The only, so the only they, ones that actually have that. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. No, no go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, the only ones that would be in the shell and actually the manga actually have that uh, support is um, Duo and um, Catra. And that's because Catra has an army at his back, and Duo will make connections. Yeah. You know, Duo just has fucking Howard, who's, <laughs> oh, your machine's been reduced to a severed head? G give, me a, give me a day. Give me a day, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see that. Give we'll me a that. day. Behold yeah. the power of my Hawaiian shat. Yeah, yeah we'll see that. Um, I, I, I saw him in the anime. I'm like, oh, he's in the anime. 
Yeah, I so, do love uh, it. While let's, let's um, get on with the page. While <laughs> while uh heavy arms and uh Sandrock are fighting, it kinda we get a few panels afterwards. We we see like Hero, he's fixing up the Gundam Wing, and uh Duo goes to bed. He's like, There's no way he's gonna finish the unit, uh f- finish his Gundam Wing in a in a day. Uh uh Zex, he kinda heads off from the battlefield and eventually uh, the heavy arms and the sand rock, uh, basically come to like a standstill and where, uh, Katra, he comes out and, uh, kind of meets Troa in person and says like, Hey, like, let's not, let's, let's not fight. And it's funny because I, I like this. It's like Troa comes out with his hands up and like Katra was the first one to come out, but he's like, he's like, put your hands down. I was like the first one to surrender and come out. Remember? So I kind of thought that was like a little kind of. Mm-hmm. Funny little oh, thing. Yeah. Humble motherfucker right here, just humbly walking out his cockpit, beaming the yep. humble spirit of humble. He's so <laughs> humble, damn it. He's so damn humble. <laughs> I want to hug so him. So damn <laughs> humble. And th- this is how it ca- it happened in the anime too, right? Like, yeah, yeah they just pop out. Sure. Yeah, the like, only oh, real difference yeah. is that one scene they added of well, of Zex leaving because like. He did not get any scene in the anime of like, oh shit, I lost a lot of men here. Right. Yeah. He just kind of fucked off. I, I just I've been wiped out here. I'm just I'm going. I'm off. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. Like, and he's pissed about it too. But there's nothing that like he can really do about it. We shouldn't. Yeah, Katra. We shouldn't be fighting like this. You know, Katra. You We're know, supposed to be on the same side. Yeah. Oh, Locus, welcome. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm late. I think I misjudged the time. I thought we were starting now and not an hour ago, and I had to cook dinner. Oh Whoops. my god. Yeah. But, but You're fine. The fact, fact with Catcher is he's so humble in this because he's he already knows he's got the upper hand because in the original anime fight, Heavy Arms is out of ammunition on everything. He it, is down to the combat same. knife, and yeah. Catcher has literally disabled that arm. That mentioned earlier with the hydraulic. Oh, with the hydraulic. Failing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Catra's failed his <laughs> arm at the same time. They've both blown their arms, but he could easily take that other arm and just beat the fuck out of Tro at this point. But no, <laughs> he walks out so humble, like, nah, man, come on. Let, let, Put your hands down, you know. Let's be friends. Yeah, Katra, I want more pilots with that attitude, man. That Ka- that is a good attitude. Katra is just yeah, like, no. just like he is, just so humble. And then eventually he gets Ooh. the zero system. But we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about Katra going school shooter later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll that, that, that later. Yeah, um, he found an actual gun. Yeah, yeah. After uh, this, after this. Uh, uh, we see the um we see actually the wing is officially fixed and it's literally a day later and it wakes up uh duo and duo's like he did it the bastard he did it oh he's such a great guy i can't believe it uh, and then he, and then he goes back <laughs> into the <laughs> hangar and this he is sees so the death funny. Side funny. <laughs> I read it was hilarious in the anime it's hilarious now though yeah. also noting this didn't happen for a few episodes You're later right. in the anime yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they remixed a lot. Um, they remixed a lot. Season with, with the first volume, they rem- remixed a bit. I and feel like it's stuff. fixed, and like I mean, they're doing a good job in the manga. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, like so are. far, yeah. I do love that. It's literally just he complimented him, traitor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he's like, that, he's doing like that. the fist in the air as like the wings flying away. <laughs> he's like, he just took his parts from death size. Like, oh my God, he didn't fucking repair it. He first, just stole yeah. it from me. Yeah. yeah. When I first watched the anime, it, me and my roommate were having fun guessing what ran, what random act of murder hobo hero would do next. And like, well, I just kind of said, he stole shit from the death side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that made it the reveal so much better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. What would a random lunatic do in this situation? What well, made this better in uh, their actual bridge series is they made Hero laugh while he hears him yell traitor as he flies off. Doesn't he still <laughs> laugh when he's flying yeah. away? Yeah, that's that hilarious. So. Yeah, yeah, that's so funny. The first time in the movie where we see Hero's man- laughter. Yeah, yeah, which actually mm-hmm. comes up like shortly after this um yep. 
So basically, if you guys check. remember from Volume One, mm. they find out uh, like they get a they get a mission where they find out that Oz has obtained uh, Gun Gund- Gundini Malloy, and that's why Hero needs to repair his like wing as soon as possible. So he does, and he flies to intercept kind of the carrier that has the Gundanium alloy. And basically we see the wonderful Buster rifle in action um, as it fires and destroys kind of the, the ship in one shot. And there's the little container there of the Gundanium alloy. And one key difference. Tell us. Hero actually retrieves the container as opposed to vaporizing with the rest of the ship now. Oh, oh, interesting. Interesting. I didn't know that's going to come up. That's got to come up. Interesting. Oh, oh, right. Don't they use that to, like, make either the Tulgis too or um, the Epion? No, no, no. Epion, maybe. I it was meant for the Epion, it was but meant for now the Epion, Hero has it. But Hero has it now. Oh, and, maybe. And, and here, so and here uh, we see him kind of just laughing as he, as he has it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I had to check to see if he actually time. did that. I will say in the anime, he looks a little better laughing. In this one, it looks a little. I, yeah, I, no, like, I don't think it captures the actual mania <laughs> of his laughter nearly yeah. as well. Also, so, for I mean, some reason. A shot a little lower to, like, his right or something, and that would have made him look a little more maniacal and weird. Yeah. Or, you know, like, put it, in a, well, put it over the course of a few panels. Give us a better idea of the motion. I will yeah. say, in the abridged series, though, they do, like, make uh, Hero have this thing where he counts points every time he kills something. So when he flies off in this, he says, two points. <laughs> or just, he's like, I killed the death side, two points. Uh, yeah, like, in this <laughs> panel, it just kind of seems like he's, like, like cheerful. Like, it doesn't, he doesn't come across, like, psychotic. You know what I mean? Like, it just seems like... Like, a, yeah. ha, I, finally cre- I finally completed a mission in this damn thing. Yeah, yeah. Now I can also, the cowards writing this cut out of Katra and well, and Troa's jam session. I was about to say, um, uh, oh, I yeah, the yeah, oh, it yeah, just shows them leave in the manga, just shows them leave, but like they actually have a, like, a, like a little was it who is a piano and the violin? Yeah, no, piano and the violin. And like, I feel like that scene added a little bit to Troa in my eyes, it made him seem less stoic. That's a and I was. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Yeah. Uh, and this is the, the closest thing we're ever going to get to these guys being a boy band. And it's like, it I makes know. Me so sad. It makes me so sad. It's like, I'm, I'm sad I because um, I found like a lot of like old Im- like official Bandai images of like them playing in bands. And I'm like, why didn't this actually happen in the anime? Like, you know, damn. It's just kind of, oh, it's a flute and violin. Flute and yeah, violin. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. I will say there is one really funny part of uh, the bridge series where everyone is trying their hardest to hide the fact that Katra is actually killing people like they're not going to tell him. <laughs> <laughs> like they're like, these mobile dolls, you're our tough tro- like duo. He's like, wait, what? Like, you know, there's people inside. He's like, no, they're not. My friend, my butler just told me he's like, yes, they are matches. Katra He's like doing like the shirts most and shut up, shut up, shut up. Yeah, yeah, that's actually pretty funny. Um, uh, I, I need to look for more again. Um, I don't know about you guys, but if I didn't, if I didn't watch the anime before, I would be really confused by kind of like the again Rolina and this kind of panel where like she's reminiscing of like Hero holding a gun to her, and then <laughs> she's like standing over like a cliff into the ocean. He's like, "I'm right here, come and kill me." I'm just like, I'm. It, as a person, if, if they just no, the anime, even in the confused. anime, this made no sense. Yeah, I was just like, "Are you really that desperate for this boy's attention?" Like in she's sipping series, pretty hard, right? Like in, in the oh, abridged yeah. series, they make it very clear. Yes, she is, and it's because of her daddy issues. Oh. <laughs> oh, her dad's never around. Around. <laughs> crazy. That doesn't really come into her own for a little while. Yeah, like, it, yeah. Her daddy issues only get worse. So, yeah. I, 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 thank you. Prior to actually starting to do shit, her contribution to the plot is running towards death. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just really confused about her. Like, I, I don't like understand why. Like, she, you don't want to understand yeah. the, the, the inner machinations <laughs> of Relena's mind are a Stygian labyrinth that does not conform to mortal understandings of the world. Yeah, I, it's, it's I, so I, strange. 
I will I, say I sorry about keep talking about the abridged series, but in this part where she's thinking, um, I was yeah. not there. <laughs> but yeah, I do kind of. But there's this one part where she's doing this, and then like it breaks over to hero. He's like, ah, oh, I just felt this urge to kill something, and like Tro is up, like, like a crossroad and says, "It is that normal for you?" But is it? Just is the, it? The, 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 just the, it's uh, like it's like silence. it's Merlina thinking of him, and then he going, "Ah, oh, I just feel this urge to kill something." Oh my god! Uh, I don't know. It, it's 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 I don't know. It's fair. It's it's weird. I I get like she's I, supposed I to be like she's supposed to be like feeling sorry for Hero at like such a young age who like is forced into you know doing all the violence and being assassin, I get it, but th- that panel is just, you know, really fucking weird for me. I know she's a past but... Like, this is actually before she figures out, she finds out about that, and it's just like, girl, you got better options. Yeah, yeah. M- much better options. Options that won't try to kill you! <laughs> yeah. Um, we kind of move on again, it's like, uh, I-, I think this is like, is, uh, like in the at the uh, embassy or something, and it's like the Oz military leaders, and um, we see Relina's father, uh, which I think I just kind of spoiled it a bit, but for people who haven't read the manga, but uh, you find out in a couple panels, but it's the foreign minister of the colonies, and he's basically trying to say, like, look, we, we don't want war, we want peace, and basically, you know, Oz military is not buying it and saying that he's just kind of like a, a spy, and they're not they're not uh they're not taking him seriously and they're saying like basically okay we've heard enough get the hell out of here so it's uh that's been going on there and... yeah oh sorry i was just gonna say this is, i this was the last time i'll talk about the abridged for a while but okay. there's one part uh... where the where the officers say to him he's like shouldn't you be going somewhere during they're like yes isn't it your little girl's birthday and he's like who oh, <laughs> oh my oh, god <laughs> Oh, oh my god. My god, that hurts. Also, uh yeah, no, this scene that was in the anime establishing that yes, that Gundarium was for the Apiani. And can I just ask, how the fuck did Trey's get the zero system? I wanna know I how did he already have this yet. planned? How did he already have Dude, like, the Epion like because it's fucking he, he had the Epion planned out, he had the fucking zero system ready to go before Operation Meteor even happened. Dude, it's Trey's man. I think he found notes in this stuff. There, there is a limit to how much I'm willing to well, to excuse with just well, with just explanation. It's Trey's. Dude, like Trey's yeah, is amazing. Was- he is like on the ball. Like he is just he kind of knows rich. all the things. Like he's and he wait, he also has a secret weapon, Lady Un. I mean, like Oh come yeah, on. a better spy than hero. Lady has <laughs> many oh, things, yeah. but she is not subtle. No, she's not. She's and not yet, subtle. No, she's still a- Spy than hero. Yeah. Yeah. No, like, if she got in the zero system, the entire world would know that a colony was deorbited in the process. Oh yeah. Yeah. She has the salty of a hand grenade. But she um, uses a hand grenade. She could have. Well, she could have gone pro with that throwing arm of hers. Yeah. <laughs> I I love La- Lady and she's all awesome. I but have no idea who we're uh, talking again, about. It's great. Again, oh, we um, see we yeah, we'll, we'll get to her. Oh, we'll get to her. We'll see. So we see again, like this is only volume two, and we see uh, more schematics of basically the Epion and Trez basically being like, um, uh, yes, he's like molding over. He's like, oh, like you know, <laughs> this is this is. I can't wait. Like he's like, I'm gonna get my Gund- uh, Gundanium alloy. I'm gonna build this thing, and shit's gonna like the colonies are gonna like pay. You know, however. Your Excellency, a report has come in that the tin plate transporting the name Alloy has been shot down. And he's like, fuck, you know, uh, in his head, right? Yeah. You know? I had to count it for the power of stupid. Yeah, yeah. But, however, however, I it tells us something about his character, like how he's mad, but he wants to know, like, the names of the pilots that passed away. Because I feel like he's still, like, a countryman, right? Like, he's still like feels for i feel like anyways he for his soldiers like it's important to him and i think that's why he values asks, the humanity yeah in war he, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like he values the I, bloodshed I, he feels that the way the decisions need to be upon a human hand by a person who is who steps onto the battlefield willing to die 
Right. In yeah. other words, he's a better uh, example of what uh, Delling was trying to embody without being so. Um, what's the word I want to use to, to up to himself? Delling. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's not, Which is it's weird, not, given every time we see Trey's in like the first third of the series, he is he is throwing cash around and doing something opulent. Yeah, but at the same time, he's like like demonstrating how much he actually tries to think about his men. It's like you're the bad guy. I'm not supposed to like you. Yeah, there was some. Um, you can say you guys, the same thing about Zex. Do you guys Just, uh, remember he? I, I I wish I got the screenshot, but I didn't. But he pulls out like a picture. From his drawer, is that him? Him looking at himself as a kid, or is that somebody else? I'm gonna have to look at it, but I, yeah, I I thought it was um, uh, no, it was either himself or the girl. Damn, I, I I I can't remember. I I, I, I took a I little took a, trays coming it, to NBC this fall. I, I thought little it was trays. like um trays oh. himself, but I I don't remember like. Yeah, I think. It's, Let me see if I can. Uh, I, I thought I saved a, a screenshot. Hold on, hold on, because uh, I'm very, very curious. Uh, yeah, I, uh, that did strike me as because it means Trace is thinking about someone other than himself, which is, that uh, is what I think it is. Which like is his whole crazy plan is completely crazy, but okay. in a way, it kind of makes sense for someone that has had to be on the front lines. Yeah. I think I think it was I a know, picture of himself uh, because the eyebrows. So the best way to describe Trey's, I feel it's okay. So my roommates and I are getting to the end of Wing, and we're seeing Trey's and Plan come together. And my roommate's just like, "I want to hate him, but I well, but I also can't exactly think of a better option for how to handle situations." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's cr- his charisma. It is. And the worst part of Trey's is that you can't one hundred percent say he's wrong. Right. Yeah. Right. It's when you agree with the villain, but the villain is still <laughs> evil. So like, I agree with you, but I still got to shoot you in the head. Yeah. You're the yeah villain. No, like, the we almost had a similar made... thing with McGillis, and then his yeah. plane came for which we were like, oh, okay, McGill- you're stupid. McGillis was just a <laughs> the, megalomaniac. The, yeah, the problem with Trace yeah. is that like, like when he talks, he actually makes some sense, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, but then if we McGillis get... and him were in a room, I would still choose Trey's over McGillis because. Oh, yeah. yeah no, McGillis doesn't have any follow through. Yeah. McGillis has the worst plan I've ever seen. It was banking on everyone else sharing his exact same obsession. Yeah. With a Gundam. With, with a Gundam that had a legendary pilot. Yeah. And yeah. No, and the response is to beat his ass, stick a boot on the thing, and put, and put it back in the water room. All right. All right. <laughs> we digress. We move on. Um. Shortly after that, we um, see that uh, Zex meets up with Lieutenant Noin in uh, Lake Victoria base, uh, and it's they haven't seen each other for like a year and a bit. And uh, we see also Wu Fei. He's kind. He's also there as well at Lake Victoria, looking down at the base. He has like a bit of inner dialogue about the uh, Taurus uh, suit, is which we see right here. And those are meant for, for uh, space. Sorry? Is there a model kit for this? Uh, uh, Taurus? There's a really old one, but it doesn't transform. Yeah, a really, really old oh. one. Mm. Yeah. Taurus needs Crappy. an update. It, uh, Wait, Wing yeah. needs more love, man. Yeah. Feels but, bad. Uh, yeah, so we see we see that. Also, Also, the thing is, too, Lieutenant Noin uh, calls Zex Miliardo. So she knows his real name his non-char name you know yeah the um, auto not nichan <laughs> no, no, no 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 the first time since when i was younger i never completed the like first series i never knew who miliardo was i only remember like the lightning count and whatnot so when i play uh gundam dynasty wars i'm like who the hell is miliardo yeah <laughs> yeah yeah the mask did his um, job well i was one again like I watched in the corresponding episodes uh, and this, like, I do like her introduction here because it sets her up as, you know, this badass soldier. Yeah. Because it makes you think, huh, yeah, she can actually get shit done. But in the anime, they introduce her as this love struck, this love struck girl. And it's just like, um, what? what not the not even just the love struck girl. She's also trying, trying to defend of... what, I'm not even trying to defend what uh, Wufei says later, but it's just like, 
Well, you gotta well, admit, she was kind of dumb in her way of thinking. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, she 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 oh, yeah. really should not have hesitated against Wu Fei, but we'll we'll get to that. Don't no, worry, no, 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 not just that, that part. But... We're gonna get to that. So like um, in in, in kind of like this scene, like we see uh which was not like I, I feel like it wasn't really in the anime, um, where Wu Fei is like they're like discussing it's a flashback and it's Wu Fei uh-huh. and uh Nataku or like uh or his his, yeah. uh, his wife, right? And they're discussing yes. like war with his like with like a professor or something or the, like, like a teacher. That's yeah, one, this is from one episode one the, zero. The scientist. Yeah, yeah this the was scientist. A, this and they're talking. The they're talking ever. about like uh, like war, and they talk about like what would you do if the de- if like you saw the devil and he'd ar- he'd already kill like ten thousand men versus if you saw him holding like a weapon that could kill ten thousand people but he hasn't, and they're just kind of like discussing like the the philosophy of it. And uh, Wu Fei is like, there's like no justice in the world, no matter what you do, and um, just like kind of like the the way that Wu Fei kind of like sees life, and his his thing is like, well, if there's the devil and he's like gonna kill people, like we need to prevent that kind of thing, right? Or that was his wife that said it, and so we see kind of a reflection of this where he infiltrates the base and he sets off basically a bomb, which I think is. This, is it the same thing that happened in the anime as well? Yeah, but from in the in the anime, it kind of just comes out of nowhere. We don't have a whole lot of yeah. He, it's just Rupi like yeah, yeah, no, he, 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 he just fucking sets off. He just bombs a barracks full of sleeping soldiers, and we're left to assume yeah. pragmatism. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was a, now it's kind of more as retribution for what happened. So it's like, yeah, retribution I, and kind of like it's not just retribution, but also they are active. Well, they are combatants. By virtue yes. of being soldiers, they yes. are fair game for they have chosen to step onto the battlefield. Yeah, so basically yeah. To, to prevent kind of like the whole thing with the devil, like he sees them as like the enemy, right? Holding the knife or the weapon that has the potential to kill more. Exactly. He's like, I, I go in and bomb that so to prevent that kind of thing. So yeah, it's, um, it, it definitely brings back what the anime tried to do before. Well, later after this is tried to bring in that sense of honor, right? And now that yeah. sense of honor is here, and now it's just mostly out of pragmat- pragmatism. And yes, yes, Wu yeah. Fei has always been, let's wow. honest, the worst of the of the five. Yeah. Um, oh, by far. I'm gonna like totally disagree with you, but I'll, well, I'll tell you, you my reasons why later. I am. I'll tell you my reasons later. But uh, look, I am. We, we, look into my eyes. <laughs> no. These are the yeah, eyes you of know someone who's done no. with your shit. <laughs> I right, will say, so, fight, 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 well, fight, So fight, we fight. all see, okay, next, next guy, we see, like, everyone kind of scrambling, uh, the Leos, you know, Noins, like, we need, there's, there's a, there's possibly a Gundam, like, everyone, let's, let's, let's get to alert, you know, and we see, we see, like, the, the gigantic space laser that the, uh, Tauruses are supposed to be using, uh, however, uh, it's going to be used by two Ares, and it only has one shot on Earth. You know, it's it's so big. I think, I think it's because it uses space cooling, as in like it, like the absence of heat is supposed to cool it in space. Yeah, we, yeah. we do that, see this too, like in the thing. anime, right? Like the this yeah. thing being used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I I will say no, like noins are they're kind of like. My men are not gonna die. That's just a miscalculation. And like Trey's is ba- or like uh, Miliardo's basically going. That's going to happen whether you like it or yeah, not. And this yeah. is like five. This is like five minutes later. It's because yeah, I will it's, say it's, because they cut out ballistic soldier. It's because she's been living on the base on the base with all like the young soldiers and training them yeah. for like a year. That she just is kind of grown to be a bit naive. You know. Yeah. Um, this has been on the lines. Ever since yeah. he's been in the military, come to think of it. I yeah. do kind of hate they cut out all the scenes of her actually interacting with her soldiers. So part of her conversation with Zex suddenly comes off a bit more like pride rather than actually giving a shit. Yes. I think yeah, that's true. what they're going for. I, I see that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we get more like more uh, background on uh, Wu Fei and his wife. And I actually really like this. And I wish. I really wish they included it in the anime, but they didn't. It should have. Like, it adds so much more to, or to Wu Fei early on because otherwise yeah. he's just kind of the stoic one that we barely see doing anything in the gun. Well, in the gun that looks like it escaped from G. 
Yeah. It's just and the it's crazy just, bastard. It's like in the anime, it's like like Ufei, you're just like an asshole. You're just like we don't we don't know why you're here. You know, you're just you just like killing people, but like there's actually reasons behind why he's got a lot of hate for like the Earth sphere and stuff. But we see here that, that is honestly what happened yeah. when I, I was younger and I watched this series yeah. as a teenager. I literally until I read stuff like this and got the extra info. I, I thought Wufei was just literally, and I'm sorry if I'm being a bit blunt with this word, I thought he was just the show's cunt. <laughs> like he, he was literally just the arsehole stood there. Yeah, he, I mean, yeah. You know, I mean, he still he, kind he of is. That. This but, should yeah. have been in the show. Because, yeah, no. What, There's a reason it, behind it. Is that. Yeah, there's actually reason there instead of him just being. Because you end up sitting there going, why is this guy such a dick? Yeah. Most like, of the backstory stuff. Why was, is he? <laughs> yeah. Most of the backstory stuff in the show was uh, regulated to Relina and um, Zex. Actually, yeah, actually, <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, like, it, yeah. It makes me feel episode zero was supposed to be in the show, but they didn't have time to do any of the flashback episodes, so we got the clip shows instead. And yeah, ugh. yeah. I just, I'm glad they actually put this in, and uh, uh, makes me appreciate him a bit more. And like in the flashback, we see like um, on the colony, the Earth sphere, they're uh, basically putting out a biological weapon, like a, like a poisonous gas or something, attaching it to the colony. And um, very Zeon. Zeon suits do what Zeon suits do. Yeah, basically. Um, so we see that. We also see. Um, also, we were noting it's not gas. It is explicitly like a bacteria. Oh, is it? Okay. Okay. I thought it was like like a like a hey, poisonous gas. And they cut the it out, but uh, Sally Poe was kind of overseeing the operation. Yeah, and she objected. And once the well, her immediate commander was dead. She basically said, "Okay, if anyone asks, Colony's dead. We never come back here. You're everyone on board. This cool. Okay, we going. Yeah. And right, uh, something I do want to point out is uh, there's a togies. So that that's what I was. So this is kind of like the first rendition. Like, is this? the tall geese or is it like they grab the leo and the leo have like the massive boosters in the back which i don't nope, think it's a tall, tall geese but it's i thought they, they, they call makazi they call makazi like in the next like panel i won't it is I will. explicitly a tall geese is it really yeah yeah, yeah it actually geese. is i actually watched a video about this this is oh, okay. like tall yeah i know in episode zero was a tall geese here okay. it's it's a tall geese i don't know why the fuck a tall geese was on this colony but it was okay and it's I not the kamikaze they, that kills her Oz did it's the fact yeah. that it's a tall geese yeah it's uh, the yeah, g-force is like, fucking murdering her inside yeah yeah i know but there but the next panel shows her like kamikaze into another into another mobile suit yeah, yeah no in, in zero that happened and she yeah. survived well okay she, it, it wasn't the factor that it wasn't that that killed her in episode zero. Okay, because my, my thinking was that that he that she smashed into the uh, other Leo and they both blew up, but apparently they didn't both blow up. The, no, no, the, they, the Leo uh, she was blew alive. up, but the Toggy survives or whatever. Yeah, no, she was she was alive long enough for Wu Fei to bring her back to the okay. colony and oh um, and take for the flowers she protected over the course of this fight. Right. It, it's a whole thing. And uh, it, it gives some hope that she could survive and that she didn't. And now, yeah. oh, okay, now I, now, I now will I know. say, oh, God. her little thing here was completely pointless because it was just the Leo had gotten the drop on the Shinlong, and I'm like, then just let it try to shoot it. Nothing's gonna happen. It's just Leo. What the fuck is it gonna do? <laughs> hey, you don't logic when you're in a fight. Uh, I don't know, but anyways, so I feel like I understand now why he's like got the whole thing where like you know women shouldn't fight you know it's because like it kind of goes back to like his ptsd with his wife in a mobile suit you know what i mean yeah see that yeah. he could have heard it better oh he could have but like it's not just that it it's the fact that explicitly her desire to take shit outside the colony to try yeah. and defend the flowers could be could be contributing fact seen as contributing factors in her death so yeah, no, it, it is specifically her empathy that Wu Fei took issue with and yeah. partially blames for her demise. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of like it it's really messed him up to the fact that it's he's like, you know, women 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 are weak, women shouldn't fight, and it's just kind of like in his warped way, because of his PTSD and what happened, like I understand, you know, why he does and, and says the things he says. Not all character growth is a good thing. 
Right, absolutely, yeah. right. Yeah. It, it's there is it, fuck, it can fuck growth, you up. Yes. And I, and I think Wu Fei's like like literally just fucked up because of it. And that's it's I feel bad for him. Like I feel can sad I say, for him. I like this weapon. I like this weapon a lot. Big sword. Do you do you guys like the sword? Yes. And it's alright. Uh, the rope at the end of it feels like a bit much, but it feels a bit over designed and I'm not sold in the shield either. The shield, oh, the I shield don't like. There. Yeah, no, but the it's bigger. There, it's redesigned. Yeah. Oh, it's redesigned? I'm throwing another yeah. rock at it. <laughs> <laughs> no one likes the Shenlong. That's why it's rated 0-5. Oh, my God. I like Oof. I like the design it's of the true. Shenlong. Uh, the, the arm dragon is kind of weird. Like on those, uh, it feels I, like it's too uh, it's, side it's heavy. Just, it's just stolen from G Gundam. They just stole it from the Dragon Gundam. Yeah, it's the one thing that survived from it from the concept stage from uh for, from Wing because they were gonna keep going with like the uh, the national look. For okay, each but Gundam. we already have the perfect America Gundam. It's called the Heavy Arm. It's piloted by a European. Pretty much. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, and they they tried to lean away from that, but uh, Shenlong kept that kind of. I really wish it did. It literally makes me feel bad for the Shenlong because it's one of the key factors that everyone, and I'm talking like 99% of the people that look at the Shenlong and go, nah, I'll have an Ultron. It's like the Ultron is so good. And then the Shenlong you put next to it and go, why did you bother? You know, <laughs> it, it really is. It's the Gundam of why, why do you exist? <laughs> why? Why have you been created for this purpose? Yeah, yeah. it has some nice little features, but yeah, again, it's like something of a junker Gundam when you look at it. it yeah, none no, of the like, parts really match up for what this purpose. <laughs> and like, the flamethrower is kind of a shit weapon. It only works on Earth. Yep, it can't work in space. <laughs> yep. It doesn't work oh. in space, it doesn't work underwater, and Wu Fei spends most of his time going after ships. True. True. Uh, fun fact, Heavy Arms was supposed to be American Gundam because of all the guns. Death Sight was supposed to be a European one because of the Gothic cathedrals. Oh, that would have been cool. Sense. That would have been cool. Yeah, awesome. I can see it. Um, so basically we see the fights. Um because of like like um Noin saying like Noin's hesitation uh to not fire the gun basically cost the cost the lives of two of her soldiers. Yep. And uh Wu Fei just like basically slices um you know kills them. And it's and, then, and, and she's and he like he yells like you shouldn't be like a pilot because you're a woman and kind of that's more of like saying like she's too soft hearted, uh, you know, like she's too soft and uh basically it just cost her the lives of two soldiers. And then he goes, is that a space laser? And picks it up. <laughs> yeah, is that a space laser? Picks it up and then fires at a uh, carrier, which was carrying a bunch of the uh, Tauruses to go to space. And he put an end to that <laughs> with, uh, yeah. with the Taurus laser. I so I do yeah, love that. It's Taurus. literally her fault that they got shot because he had no other ranged weapons. Yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah no. I'll, I'll We're never going to see a Taurus laser that's this effective again. Of course not. No. Why would we? You know, they're basically like, they're that, basically that. A, on. later on, they're basically just Leo machine guns that can punch through a Virgo shield. <laughs> that, that's what they should have done, though, to improve the Shenlong as a model. Give it, give it the Leo laser. I would have bought it then. Yeah. I don't want none of this crap. I don't want the dragon head arm or anything like that. No, just give me a Leo laser bolted it's on. It's so go. big. And then yeah, yeah, I just we, realized we get one of my favorite uh, uh, my, uh, my, my, my shark my shark my clone favoritism again. I I I don't remember if it's actually in the manga or not, but in the anime, uh uh the commander is um freaking out to get the Taurus uh, suits moving out of the base. And yeah. Zex is like, shut up. Yeah, he's like, cool take, it's like take, take it easy, Commander. Like, relax. Yeah, and yeah. The, the, panel, the panel you showed, uh, Zex is the only one that's not freaked out or reacting at all. He's like, you are idiots. Yeah, basically just like, god damn it. You know? Uh, Zex is just like, it's a Gundam, relax, for crying out loud. Yeah. Grow some panties, you big man baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. 
And Listen, I have survived every encounter I've had with a gun. How many of you had? One. Yeah. There, there is a funny part. Uh, I'm, I was going to say the abridged. If you dare ever... go abridged, I'm going to slap you. Throw off at him. Throw we, off so at him, right? In, uh, we get like, so kind of like one, one of the... Thing of the... I'm conscripting you for grid met. We get uh, one of the, uh, the best... Uh, I do like the abridged as well, so it's not... I, it, it, I will it just say that... In order to coax, like, because at the time, Hero didn't want to fight him in, like, the togis, and he's like, I'm feeling a bit down right now. He's like, then why don't I body slam you with a Leo again into the sea? And that what makes him pull out the beam saber. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, cool. I'll be in touch about Grid Men. We, uh, we get uh, to, like, kind of, like, one of the most uh, iconic scenes uh, in this kind of, like, volume where um, it's in the anime as well. It's like, woman, are you listening? And it's just kind of saying, like, you're soft. Like, you saw me as a kid and not a soldier. And again, just blaming her for being women. Why shouldn't why they shouldn't be in war? And again, he's just reflecting back with his uh, on his wife. And uh, I felt it was like uh, it was really sad. I feel like Wu Fei was yeah. was a different person in, in the past. And uh, and that's oh, he's even more you know, if I remember from. Oh, yeah, no, no, he was. Arguably more of a dick in the past, actively arguing with his, with his wife at every opportunity, yeah. lamenting the fact that they were married. But, yeah, but that, or he that's saw himself as a stuffy a intellectual. Her death was the best thing that ever happened to the relationship. And now, and yeah, yeah, and she's she's only dead. Like at the very end, when she was dying, did actually figure out that they actually liked each other. Yeah, sad. So, yeah, I know. Wu Fei's never been that pleasant to guy. Sometimes you don't know what you have until it's gone. It's it's just it's sad, you know? It's just a sad uh, thing for Wu uh, Fei. Yeah, and... Her name is actually Milan. Yeah, Milan. Also, yeah. In, in, speaking of not taking the shot, Wu Fei is not innocent of that particular fuck up either, but that's for later. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, you all know what I'm talking about, except Locust. Yeah. We oh, <laughs> we get into kind of like the next uh, chapter where we see uh, Hito. He's uh, I guess he's just like uh, tweaking his wing Gundam, and we find out here the actually. So I want to clarify: Does one single cartridge hold nine shots, or does I does don't he have nine know cartridges? Anymore. Yeah. Where the hell is he? I think he's in Hawaii. Uh, uh, are you on about the Buster Rifle Reload cartridges you see on the arm there? Yeah, I remember that. I remember they that. They are single payload shots. Okay, so he's got, but he's got nine Buster in total. Rifle, the Buster Rifle can hold three, and it can rotate them in. Yeah, and then three and on each side. Beam that again. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. The Unicorn can hold like up to 15 shots for, because the one in the rifle itself and then the two magazines on its back skirt. Never mind. Uh, Unicorn still has their uh, overpowered beam rifle. Listen, yes, yes, the Unicorn yeah, broke yeah, this shit. Whatever. It, 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 the the Quan takes its ass. What, okay, look. What, <laughs> what are we on about? Uh, I, I don't know why we're talking about Unicorn. But, I don't know. Uh, so the cartridge, so I, I'm assuming maybe it's like a mistranslation because I remember like on each of its shoulders it has three rounds and then there's three rounds in on the on the gun, so I'm assuming that's nine. So each cartridge. We'd have to go shot. back and count. We'd we'd have to go back and count every time he fires the damn thing. And I don't <laughs> anyways, feel like doing that. That's anyways, like, that's so like, he's just kind of saying, "Look, I don't have a lot of shots, so I gotta use them wisely." Basically, is yeah. what we kind of get out of this panel. This is hero. He fires that thing whenever he gets a chance. <laughs> <laughs> true. Uh, it's yeah, true. basically. I mean, it does like basically massacre like a bunch of mobile suits at once, you know. So the, there is also the small sort of difference that in this, the Gloria loses. It's a single beam cannon. It's not a twin system. It's a single right. cannon. So Wait, it's wasn't not quite as deadly, but it still punches like. Wasn't it. the original wing yeah, still a single cannon? cannon? It, it yeah, was. He doesn't get it till he doesn't get the double till the wing zero. Yeah. 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 Anyway. When, we see. Uh, so, hold on. We, before we get to this, we uh, we also find out before this panel is that uh, apparently Duo is uh, back with his death scythe, and they and it's fixed up by the magic of the Hawaiian shirt man in a day, and he's got his death scythe back, and it's prepared, and he he takes off, and then we get uh, this scene, which is also in the anime, uh, but instead of uh, Trez 
and instead of Trez being in uh, which looks like like a bubble bath in anime, it's actually a bath filled with popcorn. So just to clarify that for you guys, um, Wait, what? The difference. What? what fucking anime did you watch? It's you- coloration of bubbles. <laughs> coloration of bubbles. It's, yeah. it's the same kind of trick they tried yeah. to do with the Simpsons. <laughs> yeah, they colored it yellow so that it would turn out white because of the uh, old fashioned TV. But nowadays. It looks yellow. It was a sense it didn't work. Yeah, it's champagne. Also, forget po- forget popcorn. It's champagne. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, no. Uh, again, <laughs> you feel free to keep this up as long as possible. I'm I'm fine eating the eye candy. <laughs> yeah, I about to say, yeah, no, I can keep looking at that. The the crazy thing too, it's like it's like he's he's so rich and powerful. Like this whole thing was created for him. It's like a it's it's like marble and like pillars like and like it's a like temple. A proper yeah. It, it's, it's amazing. It's just like Trez. God damn. Why are you so cool? You know, he needs all this room space for his personality. Yeah, he just wouldn't fit without it. Exactly. Yeah. It's his like ego, but you know, yeah, his ego fits. The, my yeah. ego doesn't fit a room. Also, I think this is the first time we ever see Lady Oon in the manga. Yes, it yeah. is. Uh, we do, do we see, see, do we see her anime. earlier in the anime? I think so. I don't I, know. I think it was like for like one yeah, episode, no, they, like a single scene. This, but maybe this yeah. conversation is actually lacking something very specific that well that the anime had specifically. What? Trey's flat out saying, "Okay, so how are we going to assassinate Relena's dad?" Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, does he say that actually in the anime? Yeah, he yeah. says, "Oh yeah, this little problem with the foreign oh, vice damn. minister." Oh yeah, because he was at the meeting with the foreign minister. Ah, yes, yes, okay. Yeah, no, but here they focus entirely on well, on um, their information leaks. Right, but it, it this way he does it more discreetly than they do in the anime because it doesn't. He basically say we're gonna give them a bogus um, information intel. Yeah, he's like we're gonna give Operation them some Daybreak. Sh- shitty information, yeah. Yeah, so basically, and w- that's Operation Daybreak is the cause of what we're gonna eventually see, but. Um, yeah, Trez is just like amazing. He's just so smart, and we love him. Something, sexy. something. Daybreak spell. Yeah, Daybreak. So they basically in, in that scene, he's just talking to Lady Un and like is just saying we're gonna do another operation, uh, but we're gonna leak a fake one, and we're gonna draw the the Gundams to one spot, and it's part of my master plan, which I find, uh, which we see, see in the anime, is a great plan because it works exactly the way he wants it to. Mm-hmm. Uh, but in this yeah, panel, I'll just, sorry, yeah, go ahead. I just appreciate that Trey's had basically just learned that Operation Meteor existed. Like he kind of already knew what it did. Yeah, he completely took takes takes it over in like the space of a day. Yeah, and the yeah. fact too is like he learned like all the like his Gundanium alloy is gone. Like it got messed up, but he doesn't like act mad. He's just like it's like a sigh, and he's like, all right. How do I fix this kind of thing? How do I? What's my next move? It's like he's playing chess. You know, it's just he's calm, and yeah, I don't know. I love Trez. Uh in this yeah, scene, no, like and like he has time. He like yeah. the tall geese will buy some time. He, he can get more Gundanium. Yeah, yeah. He's not oh, worried. Yeah. He's not worried. Time is on his side. Uh, time is on his side, and he can buy as many supplies as he goddamn needs. For he is <laughs> Trez. I can't pronounce his last name. Kushranada. Kushranada. Trez Kushranada. And then uh, I, I love this panel because it shows my my boy Otto. Otto is like <laughs> like one of oh. my favorite soldiers in in uh, in uh, Gundam Wing. On, on you know, um, and he's here saying like he uh, that actually gave Oz any kind of personality. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And Until his trend, like, un- anyway. undying love True. for for Zax, you know. Three times faster. <laughs> the uh, three so, times faster than the average Leo. So, oh. <laughs> Why was I doing a Vegeta voice? I don't know. Oh, uh, well, you're gonna do Vegeta. I'm gonna do. But we see here the tall geese is kind of like uh, basically done. <laughs> Otto is saying like it's it's super fast. Like dude, like you're not gonna be able to handle it. It's it's so fast. Like you're gonna be pulling massive G's. Uh, you know, etc. And um. Yeah, it's just like it's just uh, it's just too it's gonna be too powerful for you, you know, Zach. It's gonna be too much. It's gonna oh, be too much. Strong enough. Yeah, it's too it's too much. Uh, this is actually the first um, panel in the manga where we actually learn that the foreign minister of the colonies is the father of Relina. Shocker. Uh, it's a reveal. 
It's a what, sorry? It's an odd reveal, because I think the anime kind of handled it a bit better, because they were at the beginning, where Lena had a reason to know more yeah. than anything, and she's apparently accustomed to going into space and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. The, the reveal in here just felt a bit odd. Also, yeah. none of what we're about to see was in the anime. I just want to put that out, so I'm yeah. not calling it out every five seconds. Yeah, they have like a conversation, and it's just like you don't really, you don't really see much, and it's just. I skipped over this conversation entirely because it looked boring. Uh. <laughs> no, I just, found, I just found the reveal a bit odd. I'm not bashing on on what's yeah. actually in here. It's just, I, again, like, I guess it comes from me actually watching the anime first. So it's like, yeah, yeah. Why is this a reveal? Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> it, it becomes important, but uh, yeah, you know. Uh, so we see here, uh, we in this panel we see basically Buffet. He's packing the uh, the Shenlong into the carrier, and we see uh, it, basically him saying, "So Operation Daybreak is the gathering of Oz top brass." So now we know Trez's plan is plan is working because uh, if it's all the, the top people of Oz is going to be there, it's going to attract all the Gundams in one spot. However, the it's thing not is, all the top brass. <laughs> we find out. The thing is, you know, Wu Fei feel, well, Wu Fei immediately says, this is a trap, and he yeah. springs it anyway. And he's, he goes yeah. there anyways. But, God but he only thinks damn it's it, just, he, but he only thinks it's just going to be like, um, like a lot of, a lot of Oz military. That's all he thinks, but. Oh God, Trace yeah. is so so amazing. Anyways, we get to uh, we get to the point Marry where him. they get to the 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 base and uh, we see uh, Hero Hero is there with the wing and the Death Sight appears and it's like, hey, I want my revenge for all the bullshit that you cost me with uh, <laughs> with uh, stealing my parts and stuff like that. So he goes to attack uh, Hero. And this is so childish. Yeah, it's kind yeah, of it's childish, childish, but at this yeah. point, I, I'm with Duo. Fuck this yeah. kid. Yeah, fuck I mean, <laughs> I mean, they're all he tried to kill you. He yeah. sank your Gundam. You yeah. opened your home to him, and yeah. he stole your shit. Yeah, and then ran off. Team Duo, let's go. Uh, what do you guys think of the of the backpack? Because we we this is like our first time kind of like seeing it, right? We didn't see it. I don't yet. like the add-ons. Mixed, mixed feelings because I, I did watch uh, Mikey Kaigotsu's review on it. Yeah. Um, and it's it is essentially just the wing. Yeah. So I think um, personally, I think oh. Duo took some parts from the wing as retribution. <laughs> but, oh, it's kind of, um, yeah, it kind of mimics it a little bit, right? Like, yeah, yeah I see like, that now. I, actually, the I, actual model kit it's a bit oddly stiff and flimsy. Like the death side okay. itself is just fine. How but how how does the it look? Backpack is weird. Does it look weird on it, or like it, 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 it looks too it's weird? It, it, wing piece. it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Reminds me of the Age Two Magnum from Build Divers, and I don't like it. I okay. I will be I will be honest. This reminds me a bit. Like I prefer the wings on the Death Scythe Hell to this because it looks yes. more unique. Yeah, and I like so the Death Scythe yeah. Hell is cool because those fold up into a cloak. I love myself some cloak wings. Yeah, yeah, I loved building that, and um, I gave it away to, as a gift to a friend of mine who really also, liked the uh, Death Scythe. Wow. That's also, really nice the, you, Kai. the Hell Wings? Just give it fucking invisibility. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, I, yeah, they, 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 what the hell do they, these do? I like they, the wings in the sense of its functionality. Like, I, it serves the purpose. I don't like how they look terribly. Yeah, oh, sorry, V, go ahead. Z, really, v, what like, you're saying? The, the Ruzlet unit, it, it has a purpose, but it didn't quite fit. It's more like a edgy sort of design. But even I have to say, the Ruzlet's nice, but I prefer the Hell because it sticks to the Death Scythe's gothic, you know, appearance. It actually fits it better. So if I could, I, I might actually get the Hell model as well in the future. I've got the Ruzlet sat in the box, but... Between the two, even I prefer the hell, even with the Ruzalette having it there. Like, it's because the hell is just awesome. Way. Yeah. The hell is awesome and exposed Walmart for the cowards they are. <laughs> I mean, it gives them it more just, of a Batman it to the gothic gothic feel. Feel. It does. Yeah. It, yeah, you could say, you know, we could also say the Sand Rock is the Joker and he's going to stand there and go, <laughs> it's simple. We'll kill the Death Sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's uh, it, 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 we just didn't know this though. year. Bullshit of hero sniping with the Buster rifle. Yeah, 
I don't know. I, th- how. I think overall, though, the Roulette unit is it's nice, but it it it's like they did the design for the wings here for the gun for the wing, and those wings look cool on it to me. You know, I like them a lot, and they tried to kind of incorporate that to the Death Scythe, and it kind of fits, but doesn't. Like when you look at the hell, the hell has definitely got it going for it. That's like that's the good design. Big the design, Roulette. yeah. Yeah, the Roosevelt's like maybe should have skipped this part, but at least they added something. You know, they tried. Yeah. They tried to make it first. They're um. Uh, so in the in in the panel there, their fight gets interrupted because they actually get info, uh, of pretty much the the fake Operation Daybreak. Um, that they're that we learn that it's going to be a huge deployment of of suits. Um, so they basically uh kind of break off after Hero. Uh, shoots down some uh, Leos and Ares that we're going to be attacking um, Duel from behind. Hito shoots them and he's like, okay, there, I return the favor. Bye. <laughs> also, I just noticed it ejecting the ship. Did the Buster Rifle fully change shape? Because I think we can see the um, the uh, the batteries in that bottom panel. Like huh. exposed yeah, that, on that's the... what that's what yeah. I tried to tell you. Last yeah, they're week. already uh, the cartridges yeah. actually fit in there. It's a three cartridge. There's three on, on the on the uh, the bust rifle. Uh, and then there's the, it's the same for the model kit as well. Yeah, so it's like that's why I think it's one shot per cartridge because he's got any he me- they mentioned nine before where there's three on the gun and then three on each of the kind of like the armor ammo pieces on the side. That. That does track a bit more, and like if he's getting those kind of shots out of just shoving three batteries together and using them all up up in one go, yeah. it makes a bit more sense that he'd be able to restock that. Yeah. In the uh, in the next panel, uh, we see poor Otto again. You know, he's like uh, Zex. You can't you can't possibly pilot this thing. Uh, of course I, got, I can. I, I'm Zex Marquis. Yeah, I've got I I've got broken like ribs. I got broken ribs and internal injuries. He's basically bleeding Zex. internal. Like so sex, this like, machine, it, it, it stole my wallet. It fucked my wife's ex. <laughs> it's like I got this auto. It's like someone take him to a hospital. No, it, yeah, it, it yeah. broke my oh, knees, not my like, cockpit, but like he's got last, last night. It showed up and hit me with a crowbar. The funny thing too is like he just finished piloting it, and like instead of like calling an ambulance, he's like, no, 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 no. What? I gotta talk to, to sex. Sex. Talk to sex. Walk hey. me over there. But sir, you're you're bleeding from your mouth. Shut up. <laughs> Bring me over there. Zex Marquis is worth my life. I must <laughs> tell him um, that the suit. God, Otto's such a chad, dude. I love I love Otto. Um, and then yeah. Zex like doesn't say anything. He just looks at the tall geese and he's like, hmm. <laughs> it's just like yes. your friend almost died. Before, like, he's still dying he's, over there in the corner. He, he has a turtle yeah. wing, and they still haven't taken him to the hospital. Yeah, he's also, still so they, dying. A little something I think we skipped over. Um, there was mention of the Taurus having a learning computer earlier. Oh, yes, was there was. really? Oh, yes, yeah. there was. Yeah, no, and like I that wasn't that. the anime, and it, and it ties it into the mobile dolls be- well, a lot better in the sense mm-hmm. of they're not just a threat because they have beam rifles. Because yeah, no, later in the anime, they're really not a threat because of the rifles. Okay. They're not a threat because of their mobility. They're a threat because the they're more they get they used, the faster mobile dolls get developed. They learn the learning sense. computers. Okay, good, good catch. I missed that one. Good catch. I didn't, uh, didn't see that. Uh, and the next scene, what do we see here? Oh, yes. We kind of learn more about, um, Hiro, the original Hiro Yue, who was basically a leader of the colonies 20 years ago. And he was, uh, kind of preaching like, you know, pacifism and demilitarization Mm -hmm. and being nonviolent. And then be excellent to each other. Yeah, be like Bill Ted. Be <laughs> excellent. And then basically, you know, just like uh, Ferdinand's in World War II, he got sniped, and then it led to basically the downhill of this this combat situation we got here. This war, uh, twenty years I later. Will, I will what say, is it good for? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> say it again. <laughs> I will say it's interesting that learning this from her father, and it makes sense because of who he is. Yeah. Um, because in the anime, doesn't she learn it from uh the scientist that's helping Hero? Good question. Yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah. Does. correct. Yeah, you are correct. This does make a lot more sense. I forget. Yep. 
but uh, we actually get to see we get, we we know about him and uh, yeah, and Hero took the name. Well, we don't really know the relation between Hero and Hero Yui. So I mean, the past and present one. But they don't really explain it, do they? Just namesake, uh, just the name, right? Yeah. Well, um, it, to, to be fair, Hero, Hero you know, is very much pacifism because he's constantly <coughs> self-destructing. He's like, he I don't want war. I don't. I don't know what he's, you're talking about. He's uh, pacifism at gunpoint. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to kill anyone but myself. This very Megatron peace through tyranny. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't go that far. I don't think Hero would even consider okay, running a government. Uh, peace through gunpoint. Also, yeah. they were they, in that embassy. Like they were talking about. Uh, it seemed like. Um, in the embassy, they were actually, you know, finally coming together. Like, holy guys, like we we need peace. And it was both like kind of the Earth Sphere and the uh, and Oz. They were talking, and it looks like it was actually getting somewhere. Like, because when the Oz military guy was getting kind of pissed because, like, holy shit, like peace is probably going to happen. I'm, I'm going to be out of a job. And uh, since we all know this is a Gundam series, bad shit is about to happen. Also, so, the sword's uh, back. Boo. <laughs> and uh, it starts off with Wu, Wu Fei crashing in, into the damn, uh, you know, the base with uh, the Shenlong. And he goes, my my only target is Trey's Kushranada. I have no use for small fries. Uh, does it, do they bring up why it's all like his target is Trey's specifically? I think he thinks that if he, cu- well, that if he cuts off the head, the body will die. But, uh, and he's probably that right. The sense. issue is yeah. Wu Fei's an idiot. Yes, he is. Yeah. And I don't think we got to that in this volume, but we'll get to it next week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so yeah, so we see uh, we see him crash into the uh, the base. Um, we see kind of like another panel of uh, you know Troa. He's got the the famous clown mask. He's uh, well well known for. Uh, we I, found, have, I found this panel so cringe. With the pan, with with uh, this one, the last one right here. With the, no, with the, the clown with mask. The clown mask. Oh, just like, I do oh, not I. like thick. Um, I, I don't this, like thick sand rock. Like, I love this is, thick yeah, sand yeah, rock. I hate this it. is like thick. Oh, this is like my therapist. Thick rock I, can't hurt you. Thick I, rock. I love it. I think this is the it. design we should have gotten. This is like the Delanza, but better. I, I would want okay, to. Okay, so Alan says wrong. that um, Wu Fei's inti- well, um, grudge is that Trey's was somewhat behind Mei Lan getting killed, but like I don't remember that from episode zero. But I, it, it's hard to piece what the hell was going on. Just that there was a general that had been mentioned before. Yeah, and I think Trey's might have been to the hospital on account of taking a rocket to the face from Hero. I guess but, I, I, I want to see if we'll find out in the in the manga. I'm not sure if we'll, yeah. if we'll see it, but yeah, I hate that. Yeah, nice. I, I still find it hilarious just how fucking out. how fucking close Hero came to killing him in the backstory. Wait a wait a minute, wait a minute. I did not see that. The, the this new Sunrock add-on has freaking rifles on its shoulders. Yes, yes. I hate it even more now. I love it even more. <laughs> you, you can't aim that. I, it's trying to be the the, the fucking I love uh, Guijin. I love, it. I love but everything. It's not. It. It'll never be the Guijin. It has. Oh my god! It is the Guijin. It has scissors. I love everything about it. Um, I hate everything. I'm losing my mind I here. I'm going insane. I feel like this I is just like an mom. armored pack, though. It's gonna like fall off. Like he goes in fully armored. Like you know, guns blazing on the sides, and then like when he gets into melee combat, all this armor drops off, similar to like the armadillo pack. You know, that's what I oh think. Oh my it god! Is. I just I realized in the background, for, the, uh, the freaking other guys also have this. Yeah, armor it's on. all armor. Oh, it's I all hate armor. It. It's weird. It doesn't uh, look as weird on them. It's but on the uh, it looks still bad. In, I in wish we had a kid like kit. this. God damn! You can actually do this to the armadillo. Kit. Oh, thank God, we don't have a kid of it. Yeah, you can actually take parts of the armadillo P Bandai kit yeah. and do this to your Sandrock. It does split apart. No. You can do this. Um, oh, that that's crazy. amazing. Well, I, I just got to no. win. First. Nope. No. Win. Uh-huh. That's I'm, I'm, I'm Googling it. I need to confirm that this is a so horrid, wretched it. lie. It's, it's, a, it's a major win for me. No, 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 no. I, re- I reject it. No. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, uh, V, what do you think of the of volume two? 
What's uh, what's your I mean, score? I mean, I actually like volume two because you get a lot more information that's missed in the anime, and you do get some really nice views of Gundams as well. Like, yep. The Shenlong is a thumbs down, but I, I mean, I like Sandrock in general. I actually like the Armadillo mm. and Thick Rock, I think we'll call him. You know, all, all of this stuff is good. I, I do still like the Death Side Bruiselette because even though it's just a wing, it's still the Death Scythe. Yeah. And yeah, it does have a little feminine charm to it. I'll give that to its credit. And just for the actual plot and the actual, you know, getting all the extra information, I really enjoyed season two. I, I don't know what are we rating yeah. out of 10, out of five? Out of 10. Out of ten, I'm I'm gonna give it a solid eight because okay. it's not not fully action packed, but you get a lot of plot film. Yeah. So definitely. Uh, okay, uh, Locust. Uh, I'll give this a a seven. Yeah. It, it wasn't like the most awesome thing. There's it's cool. I like all the mobile suits now. Now that I yeah. kind of understand who's who, yeah. I can also kind of follow the plot. Yeah. And I kind of understand what's going on. But it's still there's some things where I'm just like, why? Like the <laughs> yeah. death side fighting the wing. It's like, don't do that. Like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, that, that's totally they're, they're also the they're also like children. They're, they're kids too, right? So yeah. having those like they're petty kids. little grudges. And he yeah, has been an asshole. That's right. true. Yeah. Then then it's just like the the Wu Fei character confuses me because I can't tell if there's a girl. Is this a is this a guy? It's a dude. Is it's that, a dude. Yeah. yeah. It is a misogynist. <laughs> all right, all right uh, Medic, okay, give us your... I, I know you're busting out of your pants to so give us a score here. Tell us what your thoughts on Volume 2 are. Please don't talk about pants, <laughs> not after what we've seen. Okay, tell us, tell us. Uh, nine, I'm deducting one for the Thick Rock, but aside okay. from that, it, it felt more coherent than Volume 1, and I'm actually curious to see where they're going with this, because uh, it doesn't seem like Oon's going to be the one to assassinate Relena's dad this time. Because she's busy being on Earth for... Yep. Well, well, for Trey's plan, since in the show itself, this was separated by several episodes. Yes, it but was. But here, it's happening simultaneously. So, which uh, I like. Which I like. Yeah, no. Someone else is going to have to kill Minister Darlene. Yes. Uh, Wolf. Uh, I'll give it an eight. I do like that we actually got some backstory for Wu Fei for once. But Wu Fei is my least favorite out of all of these. Okay. I will be honest. Okay. So. I did like some of the designs we saw, and obviously it's always nice to see fights, even if the Leos just explode on contact. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's true. Uh, Kai. Hmm. I would give 8.5 out of 10. Okay, okay. Uh, again, the, the added uh, backstory for Wu Fei, his character a lot more bearable for me. Yeah. But... Um... Uh, let's see. There was, there was something else. I was. Um, I will say its pacing in the manga is better than in the anime. Because yes. In the anime so yes. Fast. It's very fast, especially in the beginning. Yep. I agree. Um, and I do think that Relina learning about uh, politician past Hiro Yui from her father, a pacifist, is a lot mm -hmm. more convincing rather than yep. from uh, Doctor. What what is his name? M. Uh, Doctor Doofenshmirtz, whatever he is, I just called him Doctor Mushroom Head. Yeah, <laughs> Doctor Mushroom Mushroom Head, Doctor Wannabe Man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Trey is the special ops. <laughs> uh, takes well, not not Trey. Zex the special ops takes off helmet. Miliardo the special ops. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Doctor J. Yeah. Doctor J. Yeah. Um, it makes a bit more sense and a, little, a lot less biased. Right. I um, um. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. And yeah, no, not. I, I'm going to keep dissing on that pack for Sandrock. I hate it. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Uh, I give. I'm going to give it a nine and a half. And the the point five is uh, why I didn't give it a full ten is because like I'm again like Relina in the manga like really confuses me. Like her scenes are just like so disjointed and they and she just seems like kind of just crazy, you know? 
Um, this is completely accurate to the anime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She honestly, she doesn't really do much until the very end. Yeah. Yeah. So it, in the manga, for Maybe me, like it, the it, it, it's it's like weird. Um, however, uh, the rest of it, I thought it was like amazing. Buffet. Oh my god, just incredible. Uh, with the with the backstory, it adds so much to um, his character and to like the reasons why um, he kind of says the things that he does. And it makes a lot more sense of why he says it. Like in the anime, I'm just like, this guy is just like, he just hates women. Like he's just like, like, you know, like yeah, he's just yeah. got like a hate for them. And it now I kind of understand like how messed up he is, uh, even more so than he, than he used to be. Um, and I, and I think, uh, he's an absolute Chad, you know, he's just, he's just a really great character in my opinion. Um, and he actually has some substance, you know, in, instead of just like Hiro being just like, I'm just here to assassinate and steal shit and don't look at me, you know? So, <laughs> so there's not really a backstory on Hiro. At least Wufei has a, a reason for what he's doing, which I like. But uh, generally, I, I mean, you know, it's it's uh, it's great. And I, and I hope that they delve more into the backgrounds of each character. And I absolutely love the thick boy Sandrock. Oh my god, it's it's fantastic. Uh, I love it. I, you gotta have you gotta fight somebody in this voice <laughs> chat eventually. It's gonna, oh, happen. It's gonna fight. <laughs> we'll finally <laughs> have to pick a battle to end all mega oh, battles. Oh my god, it'll be even bigger than Super Robot Wars. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Episode fifty. I get into verses. I try to punch I in the face. <laughs> I go that or figure out set up. I go that or figure out to set up a one v one in GBO two. The armadillo is you can set up a GB one v one in GBO two pretty easily. Yeah. All right, then that's episode fifty. Oh, my mouse Oh, the cool wool. The cool wool. My mouse has disappeared. Oh no. Oh no! I what a shame! You can't put oh, away more no. awesome mobile suits in, well, into low tiers. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Jim, by the way, by the way, I actually put the uh, the site for the Abrid series in the chat. Not in, okay. You know, the, I put it in the Discord chat. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. I'll check it out later. Cause I've fallen. I've fallen really in love with Team Four Stars. So. DBZ abridged. They, they do great work. They do great work. Oh, they do great work. Little Karibo does great work. Huge inspirations to me. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like changed my perception of how like uh, a good dog can, can go a long way. It, like, I mean, it's not a good replacement. DBZ is not a good replacement. But, but it can actively change funny... the story and sometimes make it better. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Like, how 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 handle Gohan and Go yeah. relationships? Yeah, <laughs> like that. That's my fucking plan. Well, that that, that was my inspiration. For, well, for trying to abridge Gridman is how thoroughly oh, it's not did I rewrite Star? the story. Oh, no, it's, it's not a, Team Four it's, Star. It's a team no. called Team Meteor, and it's spelled oh, okay. weirdly, which makes MSA. it really hard okay. to find. Okay. Yeah. Lads want something a bit yeah. media. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's spelled like meat er like. You're trying to get something that's meteor, not okay. a meteor. Oh, okay, let's okay. Get, let's rock the cool wall. All right, so we got the cool wall, and uh, for today's, um, we have, uh, I believe we have three suits that we're doing today, and they're going to be uh, Xeon inspired, and the first one yes, is... Oh, our first, oh, wait, oh wait, no, I was about to say our first AU, but no, we have the... No, the first we, one we is the three. Gira Zulu. That's... I don't like the Zulu compared to the Doga. Uh, I don't like either. It's it's I, literally I, it's like how can we make this more German than the Zaku? Uh, <laughs> yes, it's, because it's from Unicorn, so I automatically like it. But at the same time, for the longest time, I just thought it was a repurposed Zaku. I didn't even have a proper name like, until I was talking to somebody. Yeah, it's literally like how can we make this even more German than the Doga or the Zaku? I like I the fucking helmet. Oldsmobile mobile suits more than I like this. Honestly, just get rid of the stupid helmet and put a typical Zaku or, or Gira Doga head on it. And you I, liked it in one, Zaku. I liked it in one part of Unicorn when it was getting shot up by the Byrland. I don't like the, like the Fritz Zaku. helm. I don't like the return of the Zaku shield this late. And it even looks even it's more small. like a gas mask, and I feel like it's a bit too much. Okay, I let's, don't uh, like yeah. the cuffs. Okay. Okay. That's just normal sleuth stuff. I don't like the sleuths. 
I uh, I it's personally think it looks uh, really like World War II like, and I, I like that. I like that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. It's but cool. I feel like it's leaning on it too hard. I yeah. feel like this is yeah, this is a uh, this is a uh, what if board. what if uh, Hitler won World War II? You know, and we're living in space. That's why we have Wolfenstein. That's exactly Wolfenstein. Like, yeah, Wolfenstein. It's Wolfenstein. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we'll start with medic. Where are we going with this? Not cool. I don't like it. It leans too hard on on the German aesthetic. And honestly, it feels like too much of a throwback for for what should be the next generation of, well, of mobile suit development. It looks like they dug a Zaku out well out of storage and slapped Giratoga parts on it. Okay. I think that's what it is because the sleeves aren't a proper army. They're not, They're a, not proper a proper nation. No. Like Zeon. The, it's the Zeon They're, remnants, there. basically. And yet they exactly summoned together two Sanaju Steins and two Neo Zeons. They stole. They stole the uh, the Sanaju Steins. Okay. Yeah, they um, did. They stole it from the Federation. Yep. The Locust. Uh, the, the only thing that I they like actually. Sorry. Locust. I mean, the Steins didn't have mono eyes. They uh, originally had visors. Yeah. It's not cool. It's kind of neat, but compared to everything else that like surrounds it, it's kind of just mid. Are you saying this is not as cool as the? This is this is worse than the GM. Yes. You guys are insane. Yeah. You guys. Yeah. Are oh yeah. You you continue to be wrong, oh and it's okay god. to be wrong. Oh my god. It's okay to like things that are bad, Aya. <laughs> but just know that yes. they're bad. <laughs> All right, Locus. I like, like, will watch the second Transformers movie, but that doesn't mean I re well, I well, I praise as the peak of cinema. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Kai, Kai. That's so intense. Let's uh, let's clear things up here. Let's uh, you know I, I need a I need a proper opinion here, Kai. Not cool. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, oh Jesus! Jesus. <laughs> as far as a care, repurposed, hang on. Oh as a repurposed, yeah, Alan. reworked Zaku, it works. Okay, but. As uh, everyone has been saying, Neo Zeon actually has like the ability to create brand new suits, as we see with the Kshatriya and the Neo Zeon, and um, and reworking the Sananju into what it is now. Yeah, this is just cobbled together Zaku parts with some Giradoga in it, and that's kind of it. Yeah, no, wh why should we be remotely intimidated by this thing? But, oh yeah, God. but okay. when I first right. watched Unicorn, uh, I first uh, thought this was a Zaku, and I called it a Zaku. All right, well, I mean, said, no, I mean it lost a, to the custom yeah. Byerland, which is Wolf. even oh. everyone. Okay, but the custom Byerland is a monster. It is. Yeah, everyone and I the love custom it. <laughs> Wolf, where are we putting it? Uh, seriously, not cool. Like even among oh, like oh the normal God. Zaku enough, it oh just leans God. way too hard on. Like if you look at like the oh jagged. Like in the new Gista, they don't like lean hard on like the U.S. style, anything like that. They just they at least go their own way, but this just leans way too hard. Oh my god! Like, I think when Kotoki was told to design this, that he was they was basically told, "Hey, we want something that looks like a grunt suit," and the first thing he probably thought of was a Zaku. I don't know. My, right. my thought goes, All right. well, "You know what? Given it's Unicorn, I just assume we need a throwback to the One Year War era." Look. Look, okay, V, please talk some common sense into everybody, please. Even, you know, a bunch of others, I'll, 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 I'll be direct about this. It's, um, I'm going to say, I'm going to start by saying it's cool. But okay. here's the problem, is that it's cool, but it's in the wrong anime. This okay. suit literally looks like it belongs in the Wolfenstein games, it looks like something that could go into a good World War II anime. Okay. Like you said earlier, like if Hitler won the war and it went that way. Yeah. It it doesn't look like it belongs mm -hmm. in Unicorn or any Gundam series, I'm honest. And it's the helmet that's really throwing me off. Like from a mechanical view, the eyepiece is just too small. Like okay. the, there's no like functional camera track in there. Yeah, the, the general I'm, suit design. I'm just seeing a Zaku. Oh, okay. you're right. It has so many blind spots because of yeah, how limited yeah, the blind spots. It. <laughs> it still has the damn exposed power cabling. Uh, but, but this, this is what I mean: is that it starts out cool, but the moment you tell me that this is from Gundam, my brain shuts down and says, "No, not cool." Okay, so where are you putting it? it it's, it's going. I, I will give it a mercy that 
it looks a bit different than a Zaku. Okay. But mechanically, it I'm afraid it's going not cool in the end. Okay. So it started cool, but the moment you tell me this is from Gundam and not from some other anime with mechas in it, more World War II focused, it goes to the not cool pile. Well, I think it's sub zero, so it's just gonna stay here, okay? Oh, Anyways, no, moving no, on. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, it, it's yeah, like nice I say, job. it could be cool okay. if it wasn't uh, from Gundam verse. That's the okay. issue with it. Every every S session, the fight goes goes less and grows less and less virtual, Aya. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So since the majority uh said that it's not cool, we'll stick it in the not cool. Uh, I strongly disagree. It, it's definitely sub zero. It is um, finally we get a more look, uh, unique looking, like not Zaku suit. And uh, I think he did an excellent job. It's got like the World War II vibes. Um, but, like, you well, know, it's you know, it's a baddie. Or... You know, I just, I, I think it's just uh, my, my personal taste is just, it's, it's great. got too much of the World War II vibes. That's its downfall. It's For me, it's not enough. Yeah. It's not enough. If you wanted more, then it would be completely gray, and we wouldn't even have a mono eye. Okay, you know what? We'd have I'm, two mono eyes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm putting it in the middle because uh, because like I can't have the GM be better than this. Okay. What kills me? Uh, we'll, actually, we'll agree with that. You're, yeah. you're being in denial is fine, I am. <laughs> <laughs> what actually killed me about this is its head. Like, yeah, uh, that's killing yeah, it for the me. Weird ridges on the on mono eye track. It's just like. That's a good way to blind yourself. Yeah. It also makes me go, why does it need a gas mask? <laughs> it does. It's the ventilation system. Sure it's the ventilation system. Like, if it's this is anything like the Zaku, those are power cables. All right. Well, I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, it is. All right. Moving and on to the next one. incredibly vulnerable to being torn off. The moving on to the next victim. one. It is uh, the uh, ZZ Zulu. It's a marine. It's a marine. This thing is so broken in GBO2. Uh, I hate this thing. I finally got it, and I haven't taken it out because I hate this thing. Uh, I don't know how to use it. I just don't use it. We're gonna start with the uh, locust. I love this thing. It's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. It's great. It it's ridiculous. I, I like. I love. I love. Like you know, I love my Akai. I love my Zigok. And this is just like, what if we took a Zaku? I made it a really disgusting underwater suit. Why does it have flippers? Because That's it's so underwater! It's because it's not underwater! <laughs> In what world is flippers a better option than turbines? Well, every every, every yeah. option. I did not see the flippers until you said something. I just thought they were normal feet. You know what's funny? Oh. I actually like the claws. But when but everything else, no, and I just love seeing this thing literally get torn apart by the Byron. Where just instead of like going, oh no, I'm just gonna ram you into a building and let <laughs> your own cockpit kill you. Yeah. Still we're gonna do the Byron. I haven't seen the latter half of Unicorn. I'm probably never going to. I am forced to assume that it is just the custom slaughtering everything. No. It's custom it slaughters you never see a it lot. Again. You never see it again. Yeah, we don't see the Byron again, but it is probably one of the best grunts you know, in that show and it's I'd, federation all right it's federation um, the uh, federation. so where where are you putting it on the on the uh cool wall uh locus uh very cool so sub-zero yes all right sub-zero okay oh, I love this boy. What, by okay. the way i did learn something funny about uh unicorn you know the zaku that shows up in there like that just burst out of a castle yeah he gets lost he didn't. He didn't find his way to Torrent Base. He gets <laughs> lost on the way there. So at the end of the manga, they're just like, "Oh, he shows up to actually help rebuild stuff." He's rebuilding Torrent Base because he didn't know he got lost on the way to his mission. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, All right, Zion, Wolf. can't live with him. Wolf, where, where, um, where are we putting this bad boy? Not cool. The flippers throw oh it off. I like the god. claws, so I'm giving it like leeway in between cool and not cool. But everything else is just. No, the yeah. yeah, I think it's God. Too, I love, but, yeah. I love the Easy Eight, but this thing does is not the Easy Eight in any slight way. Uh, medic, not cool. Like, I want to like it. I love Xeon amphibious mobile suits, but this is just a bunch of amphibious parts slapped on a well, a Gear Zulu. Like the claws are. Are pretty cool, and I like the idea that it has knives to complete make a complete set. But at the end of the day, 
everything it tries to do has been done better by the Zagok. True. Zagok. It is. It is a. It is a Gira Zulu cosplaying a Zagok. Okay. Okay, but the reason why I like this is because it is basically just a Gira Zulu being like, "Okay, I'm a Zagok now." Yeah. 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 Like I, 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 so I would. I would put the fucking arms on any other unit and, well, and call it cool, or at the very least try hard, but try hard enough so, that I, well, that I okay. can't help but love it. All right. Like, the only thing this thing stood a chance against was like the gym twos and the gym marine types because they were so old and being used by trainer pilots. Yeah, no, it, it does not actually have much, well, all that great melee combat range. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, v, talk some common sense. Let's go. Uh, the common sense of this suit, there is none. Like, <laughs> sometimes I love you, man. The the flippers are like completely dumb to me. You mentioned before turbines to be they have been proven to be so much better. Scott, it's but, got some. It's got the. It's got like the damn turbines on the back. But don't, it worry, use the don't worry. I'll I'll continue my diagnosis. Of this okay. Suit. Okay. My <laughs> diagnosis. Feel it apart. Yeah, I'm gonna take it down a level. I will actually say that it. It isn't sub zero, but it is cool. And the Thank reason you. I'll give it the level of cool is yeah, it does have the what it's like Aquaman got a bit of Wolverine going on. Okay. But the fact I'm going there is that this suit, we need suits like this. You need suits like this to get the really god tier ones and the really junker ones. You need suits like this to make a stand and go, yeah, we're weird. We don't really function properly, but we're different. Okay. And that that's what this suit is to me. It's something so different, so weird and no so common jank. sense to it. So jank. Yeah, so jank. But if we didn't have suits like this, you wouldn't have the better suits and you wouldn't have the worse suits. So for that reason, this suit gets a call from me. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Hi. I'm going to have to say lower cool. Not necessarily not cool, but I do think it okay. improves on some things I have I had problems with on the on the normal blue. Yeah. Um the, the the gas mask thing is less so. It looks more I know it's supposed to be like, like a scuba, scuba like a scuba suit, right? Like a but scuba. It, as like a Zaku variant or uh ascendant, it looks better because it looks like it can turn red. Um, <laughs> that was my problem with the gas mask. Looks like you could turn it well. Okay. And then I really do like I do like how it is portrayed as a uh, specialty but, unit, melee unit. It okay. looks I so, feel fears have yeah. not noticed the freaking flippers. That's what puts it in yeah. the lower end of cool. Okay. I just realized something. It actually can't turn its head. Yeah. Those and tubes like, are connected. Yes. The tubes and are connected and the, and and the, the collar. Yeah, and the collar, so already it's limited. But it and got like, rid of the stupid eye ridges from the normal from the normal Gear Zulu. Yeah, it still probably can't see shit. It probably still can't see anything. But yeah, I can't see shit, Captain. What do I do? All right, uh, um, I what am. Is thing on its back is that it's um, like a rifle or something. It's, it's uh, basically um, it looks like it's um, like a holder for its rifle, so like the, its rifle doesn't get wet. Oh, so like, it does okay. have a rifle, so it does have ranged weapons, but I don't remember it using it at all. Or maybe a harpoon? I don't know. And it has a, a beam machine gun in GBO2, but it's kind of a shitty one. Oh, does it? Yeah, it's a really good melee, melee it's uh, unit. It's so busted I know this from the amount of GBO2. Uh, Especially if you're on a aqua times. map. Yeah. Oh, yeah. On an aqua map, I imagine this thing would tear someone's face off, just like the Zagok does. Oh, yeah. because, on a normal map, did because I, those I, who don't those who don't know about GPO two, aqua units can move normally and even faster in water. Normal units move slower. Yeah, and there's did one we map want that, to talk about GPO two today? We did. Yeah, we, we did. But yeah, no, like th there is a map that's just two bases, an ocean in between, and a few ships, and I love it. It's awesome. Did um, it sucks because all my aquatics suck. Did we did we get everyone? I think so. Okay, yeah, I, I think, think it's uh, sub zero. Therefore, it's uh, from the, the the tally of the votes here. It's going to be in between cool and sub zero. Uh, I like the design. It's 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 different. 
Uh, I love the fact Dang. that it has like Wolverine claws. Uh, the flippers is a nice aesthetic touch, which I'm sure if it gets on land, it just pops out of those things. It's nice. Um, I love the fact it's it's so different from a lot of stuff that we've ever seen. Um, the back looks really cool as well with the uh, with like it almost looks like uh, like motorboat like boat turbines that you'd have, but um, just more like it would make sense to use. I like the machetes in the back as well. It looks it looks awesome. Um, so yeah, for me it would be sub sub zero absolutely, but. Um, we actually have more than one person Aya. So, so uh, it's cool, honestly, in between, for, honestly, cool and sub zero. For, for Aya, what Xeon suits don't you like? Let's be honest here. We'll get to them eventually. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, It'll happen. I promise. It's only gonna happen after the fucking Zong. Zeke Xeon. What? Sorry. What? What? Um oh, yes, the, you are a war criminal. Yeah. The next suit. Oh, so um, you're who Code Fairy was made for. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the next suit, if this is not oh, yes. Sub Zero, I, I give up on this uh, this podcast. But the next oh, uh, the next MS is uh, one of my favorites from uh, Unicorn. It is the Dryzen. 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 Uh, 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 oh, yeah. oh, 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 Buff Dog. Wannabe. Oh, yeah, the looker. Yeah, no, it's 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 the um it's, it's the one. Dom head mounted on Dejaya. It's just a bunch of Dom part. It's like this is newer Dom. This, this is the uh, this is the on the, the upgrade. upgrade. They stole the Gian's legs and put it in the arms. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad you said it's from opinion, Unicorn though. because I thought that was the Thunderbolt model. I really did for a moment. Yeah, no, uh, this reminds me of the Dejaya, but less fat. All right. Uh, let's go with uh, let's go with uh, Locust here. Uh, I like everything about this. I, I, There's I, not really much to be said. Yeah. Uh, the Dom isn't like my favorite Zeon suit, but it's iconic and I like it. Yeah. And this basically just improves upon the design in yeah. most aspects. Yeah. So what the hell it's armed with? It's got eh. like a little Gatling guns uh, on its uh, It's on got its like panzer. a it's got like a beam axe and those weird little things in the back if you can turn to the back. Yeah. Are like flying mines that head towards you. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's quite the arsenal. Oh my god. It it yeah, literally is just a Gion um Dom hybrid. It, it's yeah, fantastic. It's it is kind of it's a pseudo um new type weapon. Like it's, it's not also really I, uh it's not there's no psychomo in it. Also it's just apparently kind of, it Actually debuted in Double Zeta. Oh, oh did it really? Uh, yeah. I will say it has, sleeves version. You can kind of see it, but there's two Gatlings under the arms right there, yes. like in the sleeves. Yep. yep. Mm. Okay. Yeah, okay. this is just. I, a I, I, I'd be mad one. about the pun, but again, this is debuted in Double Zeta. Um. So, Locust Sub Zero, eh? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Cool. Uh, v. Um. I'm not really a huge fan of the Doms, but yeah. I respect their design, their quality of build, th things like that. The model kits you get from them are so well constructed because they have such a great design that goes into model kits compared to some other units. I can mention they're absolutely terrible. <laughs> um, but this one... I'm not really a fan of the color, but I'm not going to smash a unit based on its color coding. That That's not fair at all the actual build of the entire frame it's all functional and it's all well designed and you've got a great great camera great visuals massive ornament really especially with those back mines as well and those gatlers are always fun yeah i'm gonna i'm actually gonna say that this is one of the really better doms i've seen out there the only other one i like really is the rick dom like the general one you can buy for the MG kits, but this one, I'm gonna give it a sub zero. Okay. Just, okay. just with it, just for its actual. It thing looks like it's built like a tank, but it's also mobile as well. So yeah, sub zero. <laughs> it's it. no Zaku. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go with Kai. Uh, we'll say that it is one of my favorite Dion suits because of practicality. Okay. Um. And the 
again, like I I have a problem with the the sleeves sleeves. You know their choice of things for decorating their mobile suits. It's stupid yeah. and opulent, and they're they're trying too hard to make it seem like they're a big deal. I, I'd say they're trying too hard to humanize the mobile suits. It's, I say they're trying too hard weird. in general because that's Zion's thing. Yeah, but uh, I will say that the uh, what is this thing? I, I keep calling it a dom because that's the I know what it is. The Dryzen, yeah. Uh, it it brings up over all the things I liked from the normal Dom and the prototype Dom. Um, I, I just have a weakness for how the prototype Dom looks. Um, but I really like the cross, gu- cross guard kind of thing for the mono eye because that's a smart way to like implement a mono eye rather than just a single track. Yeah. And um, uh, the underslung machine guns is a good thing. The yeah, I think this cool. thing comes with a beam saber, but I really like the sword thing. It's better than what Makuve tried. <laughs> um, I mean, everything was better than what Makuve tried. I mean, say what you will about the man he shot down the white base. Wolf. If only tried that um, hard for anything. As you know, I am not a fan of really Zeon suits. I mean, the Dom, the oh, yeah, problem so I've always had with the Dom is it's too bottom heavy looking, but this looks more evened out. If you get what I mean. Yeah. Like, you can clearly see, like, the shoulders are bigger and so are the arms. For it. I'll admit, I also don't like the whole sleeves look like, even in GPO2, it's hard to, like, scrub those off to make them look like your own stuff. Yeah. Because of the design. But overall, I would say, eh, this is probably going to be my first Xeon suit and cool. I don't like the mm-hmm. mono eye, but everything else is pretty good. Okay. By the way, my vote was sub zero. Yeah. I didn't say I, it. I figured, I figured. I figured it would be. All right. Um, Medic. I mean, we know uh it's gonna be sub zero, so but let, what are your thoughts? Cool. What are your thoughts? Mm. Cool. Cool. Like I like the idea. I like the fact that it, it weapon wise seems to have everything covered. It has remote weapons, it has built in guns, it has as melee weapons. And I like it, the color separation. I like the style of the Dom Mono Eye. I, I actually do prefer the Zaku and Goof a bit more, but I respect the Dom, the Dom Mono Eye. And again, the fact that the arms match the legs a bit better is cool. However, as mentioned, I don't like the sleeves. I don't like the sleeves logo. I'd say I'd prefer the Double Zeta version more, but, uh, well, in that case, I would have trouble with the fact that it's pretty much just solid blue with some red highlights. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would like color scheme, but without. I would like this color scheme without the logos. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if I ever get a, get a kit of this, I'm not gonna bother with any of the any of the sleeve stuff. I'm, I'm gonna sand it down. Yeah, I'm probably. Oh yeah, they did. Paint over it. To be honest, the kits with these markings—they're always stickers, so they always become. An yeah, they always. Oh, thank stuck. God! They're always they're stickers. Great, you don't they? always have to have a mark. They're molded in, right? Because the only one I would ever get is the Snanju Stein, and I always hate like the, I hate on GPO that you can't remove those sleeve signs. I'm just like I want to like sand this off of my mobile suit. And not no, as far I'm as just imagining the... a random fucking mercenary with a big ass piece of sandpaper. <laughs> <laughs> just like a, no, it's more like a buzz saw. Not molded, they're smooth sleeves. Otherwise, so you can easily have this kit and not put the stickers on, you know. and you'll be happy then. Oh, I'll train between taking a buzz saw. Yeah, I'll you train between taking a buzz saw to the sleeves and throwing um, dart to the picture <laughs> of Sultan. All right, so the the uh, the Dryzen is definitely sub zero, and that's where it is placed, right next to the Power GM, the ball. And the Jesta. Well done. Well deserved. I wouldn't those say, be I in wasn't front of it? Those, but the cool wall is looking quite precise, even for the ones I've missed. Yep. Yeah, it's looking good. Yep. Uh, it's just a shame I still have to fight. Be more oh. solid and cool, but that's me. All right, all right. It's so, shame. anyway. It's a shame, Aya, but my sister is being gym. made right now. You will soon free have to be destroyed. The gym. <laughs> We're not free of the gym. No. Free the gym? Oh, yeah. No, no. Anyways, guys, uh, that's all for today. That's our show for episode seven. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, we will be back uh, next week at 1 p.m. and Eastern Standard Time with episode eight. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Thank you for all right. Uh, see you. See you guys. Bye. See ya. Smashing. Bye.